Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable Podcast. Today we have Boris Bianchi with us. Thank you, man, it's for Bianchi. joining. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> no, I was right there, right? Yeah, you were. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't know, Boris is a resident Miami artist and owner of Peonia Tattoos. You got it. Yeah. Uh, Boris owns a super sick uh, speakeasy tattoo shop down here. And uh, is also a sponsored artist by Allegory with John. Yeah. And some others, right? And yeah. some others. But yeah, yeah. Allegory, most important. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was cool. That's, yeah. Would you go over there? Scotland? Yeah. Scotland Seems like sick. cool. Scotland yeah. Sick. I've never heard anything bad about Scotland. How's the clientele? They're good. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you know, the day rates are a lot less than what yeah. we're used to. So, yeah, yeah we were just talking to it. about that. What do you, what's your day rate when you go over there? Day rate over there is 600 pounds. So it's like seven fifty, eight hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah. Is the show cheaper though? Mm, so in Europe, most shows are single booths. Yeah. So it's like half the price. Mm. They don't, they don't do like double booths unless you request you know, for two artists or three artists. So the booth's like four or five hundred bucks. Um, yeah, like three fifty, four hundred bucks. It's not bad at all. And they're usually two days. They're usually just Saturday, Sunday. Oh, okay. Oh, so wow. no Friday. Yeah. But it's weird, like, when you go over there, because, yeah, I mean, you have more experience on this than I do, but I feel like when I go over there, like, I'll charge less, and maybe I won't, like, spend as much. I mean, everything's a lot cheaper. Yeah. You know? I mean, even Marquise was freaking out because everybody kept buying him drinks and, like, even, you know, friends and girls and this and that. Nobody really complained, but you're paying, you know, two dollars a beer or like a yeah. dollar a shot or like, you know, so everybody's like super friendly and just I mean it's it's also that. Like it's not like I feel like South Florida is very tribal. Yeah. When it comes to like groups of people. Like it's probably one of the only places I I go out and like nobody will like invite you to their group. Yeah, if you're not like in their little clique. Yeah. yeah. So over there, like it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, whoever's like, like a like, stranger they'll like, invite yeah, you to drink. Like, Yo, come take a shot with me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because yeah. I know when, like, Lahal came here from France, he was like, holy shit, I'm making so much money. Yeah. And then we, like, went out, and he's like, holy shit, so fucking yeah. you know? I mean, it was the same. So when I used to live in Scotland, I used to go to Iceland all the time. Yeah. Because the money is a lot better there. And the flight was, like, an hour and a half. And I remember when I used to go there, I used to be like, holy shit, this is expensive. You know, Corona would be, like, 15, 20 bucks at a bar. Yeah. So to me, that was extortionate. But then yeah. when I came back to Miami and then would go to Iceland, I was like, oh, it's the same shit. Gotcha. You know, so it's all relevant. <laughs> yeah. It's tough, though. Like, you go over there, you charge less, and then the plane ticket's usually expensive, too, and yeah. factoring all that stuff in. I mean, you got to do more than one show to make it worth it. Yeah. Guest spots in between. That'd be sick, though. I'd love to go to Scotland. Yeah, you, got, so. you got more trips coming up soon? Are you doing New York? No, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I was invited to New York and uh, told that the booth was good to go and ready. And then about three weeks ago, was told that they never booked the booth. And they're sold out now. Yeah, sold. Out. They were sold out so this months was, ago. This was a big company that botched this one. It wasn't an allegory, was it? No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, allegory is very responsible. Yeah, yeah. No, no. These guys have been left and right, and it's been actually an ongoing thing. On yeah. how this company uh, needs to treat their artists better. That sucks, dude. Yeah. Yo, I don't know what is up with the New York show because it. Everyone I've talked to is like have had issues with it. Right. Um, I mean, Allegory got like half the booths they requested. Yeah, I mean, everybody kind of slept on it though. You know, like I mean, all these. I mean, most of these big companies that were supposed to book these booths just you know they're. They're getting very entitled, yeah. and they think that because they're who they are, they could just. You know, I could I could see that, and you know, obviously, you just said it seems like it's more the company sleeping on it, which I'm sure that's half the time. the <clears throat> The strange thing was, like, we requested booths, and this is what I didn't really like. We request requested booths, and they're like, "Oh no, we're completely sold out." Yeah. And we were trying to like tack on with allegory. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, 
and so I come back, I tell the artist, I'm like, yo, my bad, my bad. Like, I guess we didn't get the booth somehow. And then like Ricky and Katie requested a booth on their own and they got it. Right. I'm like, what the fuck? I request, just- and I request one six hours later and they're sold out. <laughs> I mean, it, it could be, you know, that a booth got released True. or something like that, you know, and you just hit them up at the right time. Because I mean, I've been to conventions where like I requested a booth and then they're saying no. And then I get there and one of my friends is like, I just got a booth two weeks ago. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> But even, like, in the sense of, like, just being, like, professional with them and, like, emailing them, like, yo, if there's, like, an opening for a booth, like, let me know. I'd like to be put on a wait list. And they're just, like, nah, f*** you. We'll see you in Golden State. (laughs) Like, I feel like it's the same concept as, as, you know, me asking John to, like, hey, let me know when you're free. Yeah. Like, you're not going to fucking do that. (laughs) Like, you stay on top of the don't, you know? So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of factors with that. But, yeah, I was really disappointed in this company for doing this. And it's actually been, like, an ongoing conversation with them about how they keep fucking this. I don't want to say the company, but yeah, I really hope they, they change. Right. Have they showed signs of possible change? No, they haven't. Mm. You know, they're, they're saying that they are, but this is already like the second or third time that this has happened. Yeah. I want, I wonder if it like, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what it is. I've heard that like with a couple companies, I've seen a lot of artists like switching. There seems to be and this, you know, there seems to be like a bunch of, the same companies on one side and a bunch of other companies on the other side. Yeah. And I see a lot of artists like switching sides, if that right. makes sense. Yeah. Like the, all these companies are grouped here. All these are grouped here. Yeah. It's almost like East coast, West coast, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, pretty much. Man. Um, but it's, uh, it's, yeah. And it's, it's, it's like we were talking last time, you know, like they're just kind of taking us for granted yeah. and then just, you know, we do all this marketing and we do all this shit for them and prepare and get everything ready. And then they're just kind of like, hey, sorry. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, they went as far as to tell me, you know, that I should have called them personally and talked to them about it. But called who? The company? Yeah. And like, talk, and like spoke to individuals. But at the end of the day, what the fuck's that going to do? You're just going to not anything. tell anybody else about it. <laughs> like, yeah. You're just going to tell me, hey, sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Which is pretty much what happened. You know? Why did you like speak out about it? Yeah. I mean, Lola and I wrote a pretty extensive email to the company CCing like everybody. Yeah. You know, this is again like second or third time this has happened and whatever. I you know. I mean I I like that. It kind of like keeps everyone in check. Yeah. You know, it's like it's transparency. It's Lola, man. What? Lola? It's Lola. Dude, don't fuck with Lola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did she put the email out there? Oh, she did. <laughs> oh, that was like with the Philly yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Recently, because she, oh. she's in this conversation as well. Yeah. So for Philly, yeah, she uh, she sent an email and then sent, you know, helped me write an email for this. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, put it on her Instagram for everybody else to see. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> Get and we're here not saying Get names. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Get shit done. <laughs> Good. But it's like, you know, it's the same, like I said, like, you know, they're telling me to call them, but it's like, for what? Like, you're just going to tell me sorry. Like, yeah. you know, like, I paid for promotion. I had appointments that I had to return deposits to. Like, oh, tell that I had to cancel. Like, a flight that I had to cancel. Like, and I, in, the, in the conversation, it was like, well, what, what's this phone call doing? Like, are you giving me my money back? And he's like, yeah. no. And I'm like, so then what the fuck are you calling yeah. me for? <laughs> Bro, if some company told me, like, yo, run this convention. Like, you're with us. Like, even with Marquise, bro, like, I'm texting him three times. He's like, bro, I told you, like, we're good, yeah. you know? And I'm like, my bad. I'm just like, oh, oh whatever. But with Allegory, my experience with them is just, you know, it's still privately owned. Yeah. And so, you know, when you talk to Marquise, there's not, like, 50 other people in front of him. Right. Yeah. Like, he can actually, like, make decisions. Right, He's really exactly. close to the top. There's not many heads to talk to. Yeah. But even uh, when Marquise used to be with this other company, it was like that. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's whatever. Yo, but if a company told me like, yo, do the convention, run it and take deposits yeah. and then they fucked it up. Yeah. Yo, you better give me my fucking deposits, bro. Like you better pay for that yeah. or like some way to like help the clients out. Oh, they didn't. They just kind of were like, whoops. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, I, I even heard that one of the artists, when they sent the the text message canceling the show, one of the artists misread it and bought his flight 
and his whole family's playing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> oh took it God. as like, it's guaranteed. Yeah, because like, I mean, what the fuck? You don't expect for yeah. somebody to tell you, hey, forget it. Yeah. Or whatever. But uh, no, so I'm not doing Empire. I am doing the Frankfurt show in next weekend. Nice. So that'll be fun. Dude, I wanted to do that so fucking bad. I can't, though. Frankfurt, what venue is that? Germany. Germany. Uh. Yeah, so it's uh, the London show used to be done by Tattoo Life magazine. That was Mickey Violetto. Mm-hmm. And so that stopped doing. He stopped doing it. So it canceled that show. And it's now the Frankfurt show. So this is the first one. But it is it is like the hardest show to get into. Yeah, that was the one so that Lahal was talking about. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's like but place. you just posted about it a couple of days ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I did see that. So, but I mean, I'm sure it'll be fun. But it's it's you know it's fucking heavy hitters, man. So it's like yeah. intense. Yeah. It's like trying to be the hottest chick in a room full of hot chicks. Right. <laughs> 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 That's a good like, way to put it. I'm not tattooing at all. <laughs> are you? Are you, are you gonna, He's fully clothed. <laughs> are you doing that with the company? Uh, with FK Irons, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, and then aside from that, I have Iceland in June. Nice. And then um, I might do London in August. What, so what? what is that London show then? So it's a new London show. Okay. It's like a London show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but Alleyway wants to do it. Cool. Yeah, so. Yeah, dude. I, be fun. It's fun doing shows with Alleyway. It is, yeah. They take care of you. They actually look out for you. They, yeah. They show nothing but love. Yeah, they actually like, mingled, you know. Like I see Marquise like running around the convention, talking to everybody, like right. you know, making sure everybody's happy. And like they're Did they're you? they're like active in the convention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're Did very you involved. Chicago? I didn't do Chicago. No, me neither. I heard it was good. Was it? Yeah. I People were to saying Baltimore. like Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard about that. over there. I'm gonna do we Houston. gotta get you out to some of those. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do know. one more villain arts soon. Just the villain arts, man, they're cool, but. So Mickey Mouse. Yeah. You know. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you go to the, some of these shows, like, you know, like you do Hell City or yeah. like Empire State, like, you know, these artists get like vetted, you know, and, and you're in a room full of your peers, yeah, essentially, and like people you respect and look up to and stuff like that. And it's not just, you know, because you're on a TV show that you get a booth or, you know, <laughs> whatever the fucking story is. Right. You know, like Villain Arts is, is like, oh, you have money. It's Come almost on. like a show. It's it's, it's like actual it's tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it, I thought it, it's cool though. <laughs> it's kind of it funny is, though. Man, yeah, like out of you know fucking however many artists they try to squeeze into that with what Philly was like a thousand. Yeah, they're like oh, thou- here th- we, we yeah. made a booth in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> it was a thousand booths, not even right. artists. Exactly. Yeah, so so way more. you know, and then they it's two artists per booth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, some people got three. You know, and I mean, they I, I don't know if they still do it, but they used to be able to squeeze three in the booth and you just paid like an extra like 100 bucks. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> so it was, it was you know, it's just that. Like the Villain Art shows, like they're good, but yeah, they could be better. Yeah. No, you're right, man. And, and you know, talking with people that like don't live in the U.S., yeah. they're kind of like weirded out by some of those shows. Uh and I do like the idea of, I guess there's both ends of it. Cause it's like, okay, cool. These are shows like apprentices can go to and you can like try it, right. you know, try it out. Fi- yeah. Figure it out or whatever. But it's like we were saying, it's like, then everybody becomes a fucking award winning artist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that, all right. So that's another point. So, but like outside of the c- country, I feel like it, Almost a lot of the conventions you go to, like, there's going to be really good artists there. It's almost like they look at it in a different lens. To an extent. Okay. You know, like, I've, I've been to, like, smaller town conventions where it's, like, same shit. Okay. Care. Obviously, they don't have yeah. the means to fill up the convention, so they just fuck it. No, you're right. I guess I've probably only heard of, like, the bigger shows, you know? Well, the difference is also is that a big show in Europe is 300 artists. Right. The 300 show convention is fucking huge. Yeah. Like, you're crazy for 300 tattoo artists. Mm. Whereas here, it's like... That's it? That's like the minimum. You <laughs> <Yeah. know>? like <laughs> minimum requirement yeah. is 300 tattoo artists. <laughs> yeah. It would be cool, though, to have... And I've been kind of talking about this with different people. Like, a different kind of gathering for for artists. Yeah. That involve the public. Like, similar to a convention, but but something 
different. Maybe something a little more high end, a little uh, more picky on who can well, go. Well, back in the day in, in Denver, I can't remember where in <clears> Denver, but I, I can't even remember who used to do it. But there was a tattoo artist that used to do a retreat, like yeah. up in the mountains, and it was a tattoo convention, but for tattoo artists. And then okay. at the same time, it was also a tattoo convention for the public, but it was more towards you know the artists to like do seminars and. This was years and years ago. You went? I never went, but I, I never heard bad things about it. Yeah. Everyone was always, it was like the house city in Phoenix. Like everyone was always stoked because they just get to hang out with their buddies, tattoo a little bit, like learn some shit. And yeah. It might be cool like to have a, I don't know if you want to call it convention, like a really small, you know, maybe like a hundred under artists. Yeah. Really fucking vet them. You know, I know they have like some of these out there. San Francisco used to do that. Yeah, uh, but like keep it going, kind of maybe separate it from the convention world. Like you call it something else, or it's like yeah. I don't know, like elite. Uh, well, the Bay Area convention they used to like that was like the only convention you'd see like Ed Hardy and Chige and fucking yeah, all the like Mike Wilson, like whoever was actually a big name, you know, like not like just Instagram big name. Yeah, like, it was actually like you know Mike Rudy, all those fucking. All those guys, you know, they they would go to that show, and you know, the, I I went one year because I went and took a seminar from Shiga, you know, and it was sick, you know, the, the list of legends that you could meet there and talk to, and you know, it was cool. Yeah, and but like keep it consistent. Maybe yeah. even get guys like to c commit. Like, cool, we're doing this every year, and like the marketing behind it. Really just like a client or like anyone can show up and know like whatever they get is gold. Yeah. You know? And I don't know, maybe the competition thing. I, I mean, you said it before. The tattoo competitions, uh, most of the time, I'm not entering unless my client is like excited about it. Right. Like, oh, do you think I should enter it? Then I'm like, yeah, go ahead if you want to. But yeah. it just means nothing to me, bro. You know, and I mean, you look at that Frankfurt show, man, and the fucking awards are like guitars with like a fucking award inside of it. Yeah, and don't get, cool. don't get me Sick. wrong. Like sometimes I see a trophy I'm ready to and just like do a free tattoo. Yeah, that bro. <laughs> like selfishly, I just want the trophy, yeah. but it's so diluted and yeah. like it. In that sense, it means nothing to me. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, oh, that looks cool. I want that to put it in the shop, but I'm not gonna be like proud there's always going to be this voice in the back of my head that either like i got lucky i knew one of the judges like it, like i've never felt like oh i won because it's actually the best and we have good parameters on what the best is yeah. and that's what it was judged off of you know yeah it's you're not wrong you and know. then like i feel bad for these like Young Bucks, like, sweating that they didn't yeah. win. They're like, oh, I put my heart yeah. and soul in it. I'm like, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. We've been, I've been throwing around a lot of ideas for some kind of public gathering. It could be, like, competition-based, yeah. you know? Um, I mean, you have some of these shows. Like, <clears throat> you do most of these conventions in Europe, and with the competition, like, they just do first place. Yeah. Like, there's no second or third. There's no... You know, like, yeah. it's not, hey, let me enter my tattoo for my artist in fucking Canada that's not even, you know, here. Yeah. Like, that, yeah. that shit annoys the shit out of me. Whenever yeah. people enter tattoos from an artist that's, like, nowhere to be found. And then they win. And it's like, what? what? Why? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, yeah, it's almost like for the client at that right. point. Right, and so, you know, with these shows, it's like, yeah, like, there's just first place. There's, like, first place color, first place black and gray. And it's not even, like... <laughs> the extent of these competitions where it's like you know first place quarter inch tattoo fucking black and white irish yeah, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> the subcategories there's some of these so shows, many it's categories it's like sometimes bro. you win first second third place because you're the only one that fucking entered 100 percent. it's yeah. so specific yeah yeah, yeah. You just got to find out what those categories yeah, are. Yeah, just enter into <laughs> yeah. them, yeah. It's usually like, wh like that. what's that one, like, strangest tattoo or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Like, Jenica yeah. has her butthole tattoo, so she just enters that every fucking year and yeah. wins every fucking mm -hmm. competition. Fuck. 
They're like, oh, here she comes. Everyone get ready. And she's like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Winner. Wow. Yeah. Gross. The judges are like, oh. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> you win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they fucking love it, dude. Yeah. They all know her. Yeah. Come closer. We can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop moving. Yeah. But yeah, there's, there's some weird categories. What do you think of Philly? That was your first convention. I thought it was cool. Like I was saying earlier, I think, or like you were saying too, I think it is a good opportunity for like the younger people. Like you said, it's not very like select at all. It's fairly easy to get in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You're no, right. They you're don't. Because right. <laughs> like I, I did see like what Boris is talking about. It is kind of like a zoo. Like just random shit, like a flea market. Like you're going to find some good shit. There's going to be a lot of bad shit. Um, but I thought Philly was cool. I think Villain Arts was a good first convention. I mean, it's a Philly's a lot for a first convention. Yeah. Like, you're fucking swimming in the deep end there. Yeah. You know, it was cool, though. It was fun. It was, yeah. A little stressful. Oh, yeah, major. But it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely worth, like, the, worth the stress and experience that yeah. you get from it. Yeah, it's cool. Did yeah. you have, did you take any walk-ups? We we took one Saturday night after our full days. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't turn out too well. We're not gonna go into that. <laughs> Why'd you bring it up then? <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> well, what's what's your favorite show you've done? So I took like three years off before Philly. Right. Um and it wasn't because I had a favorite show. <laughs> Okay. You know? <laughs> uh, so honestly, this was the first. The Philly was first time I traveled with Allegory, yeah. and I had a blast only because of that. Yeah, like getting to chill with you, getting to chill with Ricky, and like the Allegory team. That was pretty. M like the convention was whatever it was, what it was, it was good. But that's what made me like, yo, I'm I'm gonna do this again. Yeah. Like I'm gonna travel because I had so much fun like with the people we went with, you know. And not that I wasn't before, it was just like, I was just getting frustrated with the industry as a whole, uh, maybe like four or five years ago, um, which part of that was like on me, but I was like, you know what, I'm just like, I'm just going to stick to like guest spots and, and whatever. Because uh, before I was just like dealing with all the drama that happened at conventions. So like in Philly, I'm like, cool, I'm just not really going to like leave my booth. Like, unless I have, like, a reason. Right. And honestly, even with that, like, you know, there were some people I, like, walked past that were, like, flexing on me. And I'm just like, are you serious, bro? <laughs> flexing like, how? Like. Like. <laughs> like. Um, Show me. <laughs> like, walking past one dude, he's like. Pah. No, he didn't. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, dude. He's and a specific I, someone, but. Whatever. Uh. And I'm. <laughs> but I'm just like, yo, I'm not here for that. Also. Before when I was going, you know, I was like early 20s, so younger mentality yeah. where like that shit, like if someone did that to me, like I would just punch you in the face. Right. And like, and then there'd be, you know, <coughs> I'd either beat this person up and I'd look like a dick or I'd get beat up and look like an idiot. Right. And then have to do the whole convention with either of those titles, <laughs> you know, and, and I would just like get caught in it, like... Someone would say something, it would, like, hurt my feelings, it would ruin the convention. Like, I would get caught up in the fucking, um, like, contests and not, like, be happy. Yeah. Uh, whatever it was. You know, I'd, whatever. Um, so, like, coming back with a different mindset definitely helped. But I just, like, I just don't like that shit where it's, like, yo, we're all here together. We're all trying to do the same thing. We're trying to, like either introduce tattooing to the public or like continue the relationship of tattooing with the public. We're trying to see our boys maybe that are from out of state and like have a good time. Yeah. And I like can't understand why some of these people try to make it a fucking bad time. You know? I mean, it's like we're like I was saying about the whole South Florida being tribal. Like the tattoo scene in general is tribal. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like it's super fucking tribal and it's it's really annoying. That's that's one of the reasons why I never did get spots. Yeah. It's cause you know you always walk into a shop and People always look at you like you're gonna steal my fucking money now. Yeah. Like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, like, where are you from? Everyone's quiet. And yeah, like, yeah. Like, there's only guy? ever been one shop I've ever been to where like I didn't feel like that. Um, 
it was in Denver, um, all sacred. Yeah. That shop, man, everyone's just nice, friendly, you know, like, hey, what do you need? Like, right. You know, and it's Which like, is the fucking, best. yeah, and it's like 15, 20 tattooers in that place, and yeah, not one of them, you know, showed me like a bad time. Right. You know, but every time I've done a guest spot, it's always that. Like, you walk in and it's like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's intimidating. I agree, man. You know? And then, like, when you, when I find those places that are not like that, I'm like, cool, I'm going to come back here. Yeah. You know, because, yeah, they're not, not as many. But, yeah, I've definitely dealt with that, especially if you're there for, like, a week or two, and your first day, it's weird. You're like, fuck, I'm yeah. here for yeah. another <laughs> week. You know? <laughs> I can't imagine that feeling. Yeah, and I'll try. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, this it is sucks, weird. And, like, you don't want to ask up. anybody for anything. Like, yeah. You yeah. just kind of figure it out, and then you fuck up. And it's just so really weird to me. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, from what I, like, we're so nice to our guest artists here. Right. And, like, we take care of them. We have, like, everyone's friendly to them. I couldn't imagine, like, getting invited out to a shop, and then you get there, and they're just, like, you feel like an extra instead of like, oh, it's nice to have you here. But not everywhere is like South Florida. Um, this is too fucking small, Ron. <laughs> <Yeah>. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like some of these spots we're going to, honestly, even um, upstate New York. Thanks, Ron. Thank you. Uh, it's like small town vibes. Like everyone just knows everyone. Yeah. So anyone foreign like coming in is like weird. Like who yeah. is this person? Everyone else, I know their first and last name, and you're some foreign person yeah. from somewhere else. Florida. Right, or they have their little, <laughs> like, things that are appropriate, things that are inappropriate, their, like, social standards. Because I've definitely, like, gone to a shop with Seth. And had and our humor. Like, All right, we're going to do, like, the cool test, and we say something very inappropriate out loud <laughs> for the entire shop to hear. And someone, like, runs to the back, and the owner's like, Yo, we're we're not cool with that, you know. And I'm like, oh my bad. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we're wild where we come from, and they're just like, we're not. <laughs> Please keep your voice down. <laughs> you know? uh, or even sometimes, like, I'll have I'll do be doing guest spots, and I'm being appropriate, but like one of my boys came out, or I'm tattooing like one of my boys, and they're, they're inappropriate, yeah, and yeah. then they leave. And they're like, please don't have that client come yeah. back. Here. And you're like, that's my favorite one yeah. at home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I've tattooed that guy in like every state. Yeah. <laughs> it's got like his they're legs shouting on about his stories with like prostitutes yeah. and like and whatever. Yeah. And trannies. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Chuck, we love you. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to touch with the conventions. Are you going to do the Golden State? No. No? It's U.S. conventions, man. I'm really picky about them. Yeah. You know, and I mean, even conventions now, like, I mean, you know how it is with a shop when you first open it. Like, yeah. It's, it's tough, man. You don't want to leave the kids alone by themselves, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, and it's for me, it's still a one man show where I'm doing the marketing, the managing, the hiring, the firing, yeah. the fucking everything. So it's like if I go for even a weekend, it's like it feels like it just everything you work for just goes to shit in that weekend. Yeah, and you I know, feel so. like in that first year, it's like I guess that maybe that was another reason why I wasn't traveling as much is because this place was opening, but um, like I felt like I couldn't miss a day. No. Like I, like I with, like, margins and, like, money and investments, like, I couldn't afford to have a bad day that would, like, roll into a bad week or, like, yeah, yeah I definitely guess that. And tattooing with the inconsistency of clients and all that shit, too. It's yeah. just, like, it's that, you know, not having a fixed paycheck is just, like. Yeah, yeah. You can't. And you care about it so much, you know, like, you know, opening the shop and, you know, you don't. It For me, it was scary to, to leave yeah. for, like, a week, you know. And even then, I was, like, blowing everyone up every day. Like, how's the shop? Is everything okay? I mean, Scotland. Scotland, I <clears> left <throat> Thursday, got there Friday, worked Saturday, Sunday, came back Monday. Yeah. You know, Germany, I leave Thursday, I get there Friday, work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come back Monday. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah. Like, it's not... And it, trying you know, to spend a time from home. No, and I mean, these aren't, like, flights to fucking Atlanta. Like, this right. is like a <laughs> yeah, fucking 12-hour fucking yeah. flight yeah. to just go straight to work because I'm freaking out that the shop's going to go to shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got to figure out your next one. 
Yeah. What would you well, say? I do have. I mean, we have the Richmond. Oh yeah. I am right. tattooing at that one. Nice. Yeah. And you're gonna come to New York, right? Yeah. Just not tattoo. Yeah. Shit, if Katie ends up having a day, I'll need to snag something. But I'll just yeah. go to that just for. Yeah. I've never been to New York. New York, sick, man. Like yeah, in so general, you've never yeah, been. Just never been to New York. Nice. Yeah. I've never been up in that region, like Chicago, Jersey, Illinois. Philly was the first time being up in that region. Yeah. Yeah. New I'm York's excited too. I feel like it's a good time of year to go to New York. It's not cold. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have a good time. Mm. Might still be a little chilly. But it's not going to be like break. Right. It won't be like Philly was. Yeah. yeah. What would you say you're the U.S. conventions that you do like to do? Um, Hawaii. Oh, I forgot about shoot. that one. The one that's super far away. Yeah, the Hawaii segment. Yeah, it's such yeah. a good show. Isn't uh, there like a wait list for it or no? I don't, I've, I've done that show since like the first one. Who yeah. runs that Every one? single year. Um, it's, um, it's, it used to be a couple guys. Now it's just one guy, I believe. But yeah, it is. I mean, it's, you know, it is a hard show to get into just because of the wait list. Right. Not because of talent. Because there's so many fucking people that want to do that show. What's a flight to Hawaii? That's just far. It's like it's eight like hours, something like that. Yeah, from, I think it's like from you like go to Mexico Cali. or Cali. Yeah. I think you Ron, Cali. how long is it? How long? Thirteen hours. Yeah, yeah. it's six and six. Miami to Hawaii. Yeah. Is well, because you got to go to like LA usually, yeah. no? Yeah, LA, even, even LA or Texas. Yeah. 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 Texas. yeah. So. Right. It's like six to there and then six to the island, right? Five from here to LA and then six from Miami. Yeah. Bro, that time change, for some reason, fucks me up so bad. It's, it is pretty fucked up. The West Coast one? one? Bro, like... Was Hawaii behind California, or are they the same? What? Are they, like, the three hours behind, or Isn't is it Isn't it, more? like, six hours behind? It's six hours from here to three hours from here. Yeah, it's a lot. Right, but it's a six-hour time difference, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Okay. Those ones get me so bad. I can do the 12, no problem. Like, it's any, like, like, Asia or anything like yeah. that. Because France fucked me up, too, bad. Yeah. But for some reason, Hawaii, the, the, like the reverse, bro, when I got home, it was like a week. I was messed up. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, aside from that, um, I mean, the Hawaii is just like fun. Like, yeah. it's just a good show to go and like tattoo and have a good time. And you always meet cool people. Um, obviously, it's Hawaii, so yeah, you can't really bitch. Super, <laughs> right. like, super relaxed like, everywhere. Even if, yeah, even if you have a bad like convention, like you're still in fucking Hawaii. Yeah, right. you know, like, they, <laughs> so they usually they do it on the first Friday of the month, which is um, they do like a big um, party for like the army and Chinatown and all that stuff, and nice. they do fireworks from the hotels, and so it's sick. Cool. Um, and then every other year, it's at the end of Rimpak, which is like when all the navies go there to like do war games. Oh, it's cool. So then oh, you get cool. you're just tattooing a fuckload of sailors and shit. That's kind of yeah, cool. So you get sailors from Brazil, yeah, from Russia, sick, from actually. China, from fucking everywhere that are just there to do war games, just and slinging like swallows. Each other and yeah, then then yeah, it's the end. So you get to tattoo all of them, and they have all their paychecks to spend. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just good. swallows and That's anchors sick. just yeah. slinging them out. <laughs> um, aside from that, like usually the ones that are near military bases are always good. So yeah. Hampton Roads, Virginia Beach. Um, those are fun because it's a chance for all those military dudes. Yeah, like, just yeah. Hop over and there I mean, the organizers for those are cool. It's Mike Can. Um, he's a tattooer, and he puts those on, and you know, he he like tries to make sure everybody's happy. And he's about our age, so nice. he's not like some conglomerate that like you know just wants your money. So right, he's not like so out of touch. Right. Yeah. You know, and so he he makes sure everybody has a good time. Um, I've always wanted to do Hell City. Yeah. I heard. actually haven't done Hell City. Never. I've heard a lot about yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it's I've heard it's good. I mean, back in the day it seemed like it they were pretty picky, which super, I liked. Super, super, yeah. super. Yeah. They're still pretty picky. I yeah. I, so you I like send your work in and they accept picky, it. But I don't think they really are. I don't think they don't were think either. They were. But they do ask you to send your work in. Philly used to do that too though. Um. Yeah. I don't think they, I don't think they <laughs> look at it though. <laughs> They're just like, oh, he does tattoos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think that's the case. It's not his house. You yeah. Know? yeah, they're like, is that a? They just, is that they're a like work, just in is the that, background. Yeah. Is that a workstation? All right, he's good. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, there's some decent ones in in the states, you know. But for me, like Europe is always like, like I said, you know, it's, it's less tattooers. It's more personal, right? You know, and 
most shows will like sit there and make sure that you're all right, that you're good, that you have everything. Yeah. And, um, you know, if you need anything, you usually can just ask or find the organizer or somebody that's willing to help and not just disappear. Right. <laughs> you know? right. um, I mean, the, my favorite show in general is Iceland. Okay. That one's so like on. 26 tattooers. Small as fuck. What like. makes it your favorite? So it's 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 like a family for that one, you know, and it's everybody knows each other. It's a busy ass show. I mean, it's twenty six tattooers in the city center, you know? cool. so it's nobody's stepping on anybody's toes. Like, are they picky about who can go? Um, yeah. So it's either you've done it, you've done a guest spot at the Reykjavik Inc. shop, or um, you know somebody brings you. Okay. If they have room. Yeah. You know, and it's um. You know, every night, everybody, you know, I mean, Iceland's small, too. And Milan used to be like that when Milan used to be in the in the hotel outside the city. where Like, everybody would hang out in the same spot, go to the same place to have dinner. And so it was like, like you were forced to, like, hang out with your peers. Which it's was kind of cool. It was awesome. Yeah. You know, everybody would just talk shit. We'd fucking play CeeLo, like. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then at the end, the convention takes you to, like, the hot springs or, like, an activity for everybody to do. And it's. See, that makes sense to me. Because that's, like, a thing you do. And you're like, damn, I want to come back next year. I want to see these people. I want to hang out. I want to do the same yep. thing. Yeah, it feels that like makes an sense. annual thing. Yeah. You know, and that, that usually the last day, everybody goes back to the tattoo shop and just tattoos each other. Cool. You know, so everybody yeah. that's done the show more than once has like a little diamond with like stripes of how many years you've done it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I actually nice. thought I heard Houston was kind of like dead. So from what I heard, somebody at the Philly said it was similar to like how Philly was this year. They were like, it's usually good, but it was slower than normal. Like, yeah, I want to do that Alaska one, the Anchorage one. Yeah. That sounds yeah. cool. Yeah, it does sound cool. Actually, yeah. we were talking to those guys about it. Uh, Corey's on his way over to Alaska convention right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, Villain Arts is doing one there too now. Oh yeah. yeah. Hmm. They added that to the roster. I have no idea how. What I would expect for that convention. Yeah. yeah. Be cool I mean, I met some guys from, from Alaska <clears throat> at the anime convention, and it was um, I, it was just, I'm fucking retarded when it comes to that shit, and I <laughs> see them, and they're, like, white and normal, and I'm yeah. like, oh, you're American. <laughs> 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 what do you mean you don't live in an igloo? <laughs> so, yeah, but I'm I, like that all the time with, like, you know, whenever I go to, like, some country, and it's just, like, you know. Even, like, the visuals. Like, I remember the first time I went to Scotland, I'm like, it's not a village? Right. right. <laughs> so, I, for, I forgot we, we, we were talking for a little bit at the anime one in Miami. Uh, what did you think of that convention? I didn't the organizers were awesome. Yeah. Super cool. Um, Miami conventions and South Florida conventions just don't fucking hit. O dude. Overall, like, though, like, the venue you thought was pretty solid. Like, I mean, the convention center, the Miami Beach convention center is just... Yeah. Mm. You know, I mean... You know, I mean... Being local, like, you don't yeah. go to South Beach. <laughs> no, yeah. Right. You know, and I the mean, people that are there, I feel like, are not really going to go to a convention. No, I mean, dude, I was shocked when I walked in and saw what the place looked like. I was yeah. like, it's dead. It, yeah, unfortunately, it was. I mean, the convention itself was sick. Though. It was a cool convention. I, I really liked sick. the setup. Like, the stage in the yeah, middle was man, sick. The DJ, the yeah, fucking... Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was, it was sick, but... Unfortunately, it's just too south. Florida, we're gonna man. do the Richmond one, the one that everybody was that talking was about. Yeah, that's what everyone was talking about there. So we're gonna do that one. You gonna do I some mean, anime tats? No, um, <laughs> she fucking better. Sure. Kai, are we doing no, any, I already, doing I already, anime I already asked her. You're booked, and you're not doing any anime. <laughs> you didn't either, though, really, right? I did. I did. Yeah, Damn. I did a collab with Lola, and fucking you did. did like, I the forgot. Whole yeah, fucking, uh, it's I like, went on the last day, like half sleep. Damn, yeah, I don't even like know anime though. They'd be like, "Yeah, I want a sick anime tat," and I draw him like a cat dog. I mean, but <laughs> a fucking Teen <laughs> Titan. Yeah. I mean, you look at most Japanese culture, and it's based. You know, animes are mostly based off of like Hanya masks or Onis yeah. or any of that shit. Anyway, so yeah, you know, just Geisha some girls. googly eyes and yeah. I, I think it's, and this is coming from someone that never does anime tattoos. Really, like I think they're fun. Yeah, because most of the time it's like hard lines and blocked off shading. Yeah, it's very and it'll like, hold forever. Yeah. At yeah. least like I'm doing them black and gray, like super um, cool line weights. But there's not, I don't even like want to say it like this. My experience with them because I've you know I've done a handful, but like really not a lot. 
It's like they'll send me either the, the anime topic to research or the characters that they want. And it's just like, I'm almost just kind of like copying this amazing artwork yeah. already, you know? And I just get to kind of like piece stuff together and maybe some force. Kind of how it is though. Cause like a lot of the people that want the anime stuff, like they want it in the style that it was drew in. They, yeah, they don't, don't want, want you to change the fucking They don't character. want you to redraw it. Like they right. want it no. just like yeah. that. So, so you really just got to find the coolest reference picture, Pretty and much. it's like a really nice day. It's just like a coloring book, kind of. <laughs> yeah, hundred you know? yeah, percent. Pretty much. It's like connect the dots and some shit. Yeah. yeah, and then sometimes you can convince them into like a comic book panel sleeve, and I think those are yeah, cool. Yeah, the, you the know? panel, the manga panel. Yeah, you just do like yeah. different shots, yeah, 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 squares, and like diff- different like. Yeah, you push yeah some sometimes it like goes out of frame. You're, You're like, whoa, whoa 3D. <laughs> <laughs> the animated guys are going to watch this and be like, these guys are so mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do anime <laughs> tattoos, so I can say I this. I know, but you're a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be doing, an- for, for I'll be doing <laughs> anime tats at the anime convention. I know, I know, I know. I, I, it would be <laughs> like, because that's, yeah, maybe people are like, literally draw completely new versions of. The anime. There, I do see, there's like some dudes at Sad Fam that I do see. Like, they'll like keep it within the same style, but they'll like draw a completely new body for maybe like a forced you know what perspective. Dizzy used to do that. Yeah, but he would redraw the fate. Like, he would change the anime character. Right, but I would see him like take a character, be able to replicate it perfectly, and create yeah. a scene that like did not yes, exist. Yes, 100% prior. with like a hand like coming right. forward or something right. like that. Yeah. He did do that a lot. Like, and there's, like, there's a lot of anime guys Maybe that are doing that. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do it. Not just, like, copy the anime. Well, some people want, like, manga panels, like, directly out of the book. True. It's almost like that's an True. iconic scene. They want it pictured just like that. If you haven't already, you need to check out themodelcitizenapparel.com. It has the best tattoo clothing I've ever seen. And I'm quite a critic when it comes to fashion, clothing, whatever. The design has to be cool and the material has to be comfortable, at least form fitting. They have a range of styles from vintage to modern. They're continuing to work with new artists featuring new designs and articles of clothing. You need to check out this company, themodelcitizenapparel.com, or you can check out their social media, which is Model Citizen Apparel. It's the best. We talked about we want to talk about the blue checks. Blue checks. What do you know about the blue, blue checks? checks? Does Cam have one? They offered you me one. one. <laughs> I didn't want it. Why didn't you want it? I feel like it's in a weird gray. I want to see where this goes. Like where I'm at right now, like I've seen like what people are saying is like it's almost like the new cool is gonna be to like not have one. What do you think about all this? Because now I'm getting like people with Three, four hundred followers that are verified, and I'm yeah, like, that's that's what I was talking to him about. It's uh, <laughs> it, it almost takes like the exclusivity of it away. It definitely does because like I thought that Instagram was only offering it to people with like ten thousand followers and a m- no, no, and no. more. You, you only needed a hundred to. Get that's what I'm the, saying. From like the beginning, like that's that made no sense to me. Yeah, like I feel like if they kept it at like the ten k mark, like boom, you hit ten k, you can get verified. Like that makes sense. It's not like a, it's not really hard to hit like ten k. Well, can, it was never ten k. It was yeah. always, you could get it, you know, whenever. Yeah. I know, like, originally, like, when they were just getting, because, like, I've tattooed, like, a couple, like, baseball players yeah. that are, like, 2,000 followers, yeah. but they're verified, yeah. you know, so, um, I don't know, I think it's just, like, the want for it's kind of gone, and now that I have to, like, pay for it, no. Well, unfortunately, for most people, they always have to pay for it. Correct. Yeah, and I know, I, I know it used to be actually a lot more. Than what it is well, now. It, it, so at the beginning, it was uh, the at the very beginning when it was just like movie stars and like singers and stuff like that. That's when it was like the shit. Yeah, you know. And then you'd start seeing like these random ass like influencers. Yeah, that, like, right, <laughs> would like get them. SoundCloud rappers. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Like you They're know, start, it, like it, the mark was hit lower and lower. It was like yeah, hundred thousand followers lower, are starting to get <laughs> verified, and, and it just it started getting watered down after it was movie stars. Yeah, because you know, I mean, I knew people that got it during COVID because everybody was cheaper, and you know, in the end, you just really needed three magazine articles from. Yeah, that's what I heard. You just need like three published articles. You yeah. submit that, and you're good. Pretty much. But you didn't have to pay for it at that point. You had to pay for the magazine articles. Yeah, 
But like Instagram would give you the, the check for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you never Instagram never asked for money. Yeah, it was so, I mean, the magazine yeah. articles, and so like that's what I was telling John essentially that. You know, you get all these people getting mad about the blue checks and all that stuff that, like, all these, like, random 300 follower yeah. people are getting it. But most of those people paid five to, you know, I've heard of people spending $15,000 to get a fucking blue check. 20. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck, dude. Like, 20 grand. And yeah. now some fucking. Yeah, 10 bucks Joe a month Schmoles sounds more appealing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I yeah. saw, maybe, like, two months ago, I saw an article come out and it was, like, talking about this, like, paid verification and that they were going to launch in Australia first. Yeah, yeah they tested um, it right there, right? And, you know, Danny and I were talking about a computer, Danny, and we were, like, dying laughing. We're like, this is so good. Because I went down the rabbit hole of, like, trying to figure out the yep. blue check. Because um, originally, originally, like, when I really didn't have a following at all, I just wanted it. Um for status and I thought like maybe if I had it I could charge more maybe people yep. would take me more serious it was very much like a status badge yeah almost like certifies you as a professional right which which that remained I always thought like oh it'd be cool to have yep. the blue check you know because it was rare yeah. not a lot of people had them then it got to the point where like everyone was making those fake accounts and like getting deposits from my clients and all that and I was like okay I, I really should, like, look into getting this yeah. thing. Um, not only, like, for the status, but to try to help with that as well. Yeah. And I was, like, going... And that's when I was, like, I'm going to dive into this and really figure out how to get this. And, like, going back and forth with, like, Meta and Instagram. I mean, Danny and I kept finding, like, different countries that you could communicate with Facebook. You know, because in the U.S. it's very hard. Yeah. Uh, kind of no help. You know, like even like, yo, this is like what you say they're for. Yeah. And I, and I, bro, was sending them like endless screenshots of like fake accounts. Like some weeks it'd be like 10 fucking accounts. Yeah. I'm like, please, bro. Yeah. Like whatever, like just to help with this, you yeah. know, non-responsive. Fill out the request form and, you know. Yeah. So then I'm like, fuck it. I guess I'll go down this route. So then we're doing like the articles and the publishers and all that. We meet the people that are like, yeah, we can get you the fucking check. Um, and most of them wanted 15000 to 20000 yeah. no guarantee. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot, yeah, you yeah. know? Um, then we, like, met some real people with some, like, more legitimate prices. They're like, yeah, just give me, like, two, three grand because that's what I'm going to have to, like, that's what, you know, my time organizing, yeah. getting your articles published, getting it organized, like, to submit a proper form. Yep. Yeah. I was like, okay, that kind of, like, makes sense to me. And then they're like, just wait a couple months. We can't do tattoo artists right now. We can only do musicians. Yep. I'm like, what? <laughs> <Fuck it." laughs> I'm like, what is... And then we just got so frustrated. We're like, fuck it. We'll just, like, make a bunch of story posts, like... This is the one and only account. Do yeah. not receive, you know, take yeah. deposits. I mean, fuck, man. I, whenever you do a contest, there's always going to be those fake accounts yeah. popping up. To fucking yeah, anytime that. you do a giveaway or anything. Dude, man, like, like, some people, like, send me screen. Like, is this you? And it's like, dude, like, you got to be some kind of fucking stupid. To like, if you're like, messaging me yeah. right now, you know it's me. <laughs> I bought a laptop from you. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, man. Like, message me and win this prize. Like, yeah. dude. Like, it's like, no, yeah. man. they hit like, you up. They're like, yo, thanks for that sick hookup on the tat. Like, your you know, full day's two grand. And they're like, appreciate you hooking me up for 500. It's like, that wasn't me, bro. Yeah, like, I, feel, I do feel bad for those people that fall for it and get their accounts hacked. And yeah. so, like, it's like, like, I can't help you if you can't help I yourself. <laughs> I, like, I turn on two-way authentication. Don't fucking click any links, yeah. you know? <laughs> and check with your friends if you feel like you're a stupid person. <laughs> and then I, I do see, like, the the use of the blue mark, like, in your guys' case, where you do get, like, the fake accounts and shit like that. Right. I just hate seeing people with, like, 300 followers verified. Well, you were more concerned about, like, is it cool, is it not? Like, that's what that I heard. That, too. Like, it almost you. seems like... For me now, like, try hard. Which makes total sense. Yeah. But I think people have to, they're going to have to make that mental switch. Like, it's not a status thing anymore. Yeah. Like, it's an identity thing. Yeah. yeah. You know? So my per, my opinion, and, you know, maybe you guys agree, maybe you don't, is I think it's fine. I think everyone get John the subscribed. check. What? <laughs> John yeah. subscribed. Yeah. <laughs> I think get the check. 
I think know that you're, what you're doing is you're purchasing, you know, the ability to say, this is the real me, yeah. you know, so people yeah. don't get confused. If you only want to use it for status, you know, make sure that, whatever the charge is is worth it yeah. for you yeah I'm, I'm waiting till i get like the, the lower offer because you know how it's like it changes did you see that it's like no, different no, prices no. for different people you saw that right no it's like anywhere from like i think five to 15 really yeah it's like randomizing it because i had one the first time it offered me it was like 12 something and it offered me again the other day for like 10 it's like, come on, Cam. But like, yeah. can you? <laughs> Yo, if, if once it hits that five We're mark, get you. Can you do? Subscribe. Can you do the um, the business though? Can you verify businesses? I don't know. Unfortunately, I uh, was slightly banned from doing lives and monetizing for showing ass. <laughs> oh wow! Well, did you go live while tattooing a butt or something? I did. Yes. That's, Yo, that's multiple sucks. times. <laughs> <laughs> the comments were fucking gold. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> it was all like this no, Middle Eastern yeah. Hindu people just, like no one's just here for masturbation. Right, right, right. <laughs> no one's looking at the tat. No, no, and uh, yeah. So Instagram didn't like it, and banned me, and so. But I've even been reading, and I don't. I I wouldn't say this is confirmed, but I have seen a few articles on this that they're not going to put you in the algorithm unless you have the check. Really, they're not going to put you on the for you. They're not going to. Essentially, they're not going to promote um, unconfirmed identity people. Makes sense. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a scam. They gotta. I mean, well, now they they're get, just they like gotta monetize off of it, you know. So it's. But like now they're like they snubbing it. the people, almost. How? I feel like Yo, almost, all these people making fake accounts. Yeah, trashing no, the I, fucking I, I, internet. I hear that, but like here, like think about like the like a young influencer that cannot maybe like afford it, and now he's like trying to promote his shit, but he has to pay to promote it. When you could, like, promote on YouTube for free, you know? Interesting. That, that's, like, where I, what I think about for that. Like, that's, I, it's weird. Maybe I could understand them, like, pushing your stuff more if you're verified. But, like, just, like, completely snubbing people who aren't verified is kind of fucked up. But even before, that's kind of how it was. If you were verified, they always pushed your comments to the top. They always pushed your posts yeah, to the top. Yeah, and, like, that, that's fine. But, like, now, like, snubbing people who aren't verified, that kind of sucks. Listen, man. So it forces people into like paying for it, which Man, is a, which is a great, is no, yeah. I mean, no, no, it's a, it's a great tactic. Like yeah, that's how it is. Though, but yeah, you know, it's and then <sighs> now with like all the talks of TikTok being banned and Instagram yeah. pretty much being the only one left. Like, yeah. yeah, they, they have, they have the power. I don't even know if I would have social media if I didn't have a business or if, yeah. if, if you didn't have something to show. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I would, actually. Yeah, you've yeah. got a chick, so that's... What's that? You've got a chick, you know, you've got a fiancé yeah. or whatever, so it's not like... You have other reasons. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe maybe for <laughs> that or like chicks or working out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just... Because I remember, like, before we were even involved, like, I was like, yo, I fucking hate this. Like, yeah. I don't... Like, it makes me feel bad. Like, I... You know, I'll get... I'll wa waste, like, an hour watching videos, nothing productive, and... Yeah. That, that's, that's why, like, I gave up video games. It's, like, the same fucking thing, bro. Yeah. And so, like, cool. It's maybe turning into, like, a pay-to-play. But that's, like, every business yeah. platform. 100%. You it's know? a great business plan. For right, and you can say YouTube down. and whatever. But if your quality isn't good, it's not going into the algorithm. And how do you get good quality? You fucking pay for it. Yeah. You know? I mean, but look at our podcast yeah. setup, bro. It costs more than whatever car you're looking at. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it's, like... The, and just like Boris brought up, like, cool, they were free before. No, they weren't, bro. You're paying thousands yeah. and thousands of dollars to get it. Now Facebook or Instagram was, you know, Meta is like, cool, we're just going to ask for, like, verification. I actually think, I actually like it, you know? Yeah. Because, like, it's going to weed out the bullshit. 100%. Like, cool, you can't afford, you know, to promote your... People aren't gonna like this, but <laughs> your 300 following sunset photo bullshit, like, okay. yeah, you don't need to. Yeah, 100. percent Most people, like, if I had a personal account, or when I used to have like a little personal account, when my friends have personal accounts, like, it's really just your friends following. Yeah, I was about to say, like, if, like they're gonna see it anyway. Yeah, it seems like they're just kind of just like separating it. Like, there'll be the people who have it like for social stuff, and then there's yeah. the people who have it for like their business. Well, and their most of the time, like, image. when I had a, a personal account, I don't anymore, but and. 
my friends, like, they're private accounts anyway. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 100%. And it's like, it, I'll go in there to post for my friends. Yeah. Most of the stuff, I'd be upset if it hit the for you and went viral. <laughs> it's like, no, it's a picture of me and my dog. I don't want, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. I do feel like more fake accounts are popping up since the blue check as well. Yeah. Like, now I look at my stories and it's just like, Sarah would like... 50 numbers behind it. Yeah. You know, it's just like nonstop. That's so. been going on for a little bit now, though. I don't know. I feel like since that blue check, like my, You're my like my like more. message request is nuts with just bots sometimes. Really? Yeah. My story is sexual. Like when you see like the top viewer who hearted it, it's like, yeah, and it's weird. Come. how It's weird. <laughs> how, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And they have like three followers. Yeah. yeah. And they're following 7,500. Yeah. <laughs> and it's always the same chick in the photo. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. You cannot have this many accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know, you know what this, I love? She's at home with, like, <laughs> fucking 10 phones. I don't like going in and out of this, but I love just going on, like, all these random pages. And you know how you get, like, the bots that's, like, awesome, send posts for promo. Oh, yeah. Like, when I just comment that on other people's <laughs> posts, I think it's fucking hysterical. You should do that, too. <laughs> Like Before someone does a rad fine. tattoo, you you have to do like you have to do like awesome the hashtag, or like fantastic, mm -hmm. you know, and then exclamation like exclamation mark, exclamation mark. You have to mark. do like three emojis, and then it's like send for promo, and then you do like this hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drop one on Boris's next post. Perfect, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> love it. But it's like cool. You can't afford it. Like what you should do right now is you should buy Meta stock because they're gonna generate a lot of income through this. Yeah, verification man. app and you make some money and then you can afford it yeah. you're not gonna do that but no i did it <laughs> <laughs> I, like that. I was a little confused but now like dating sites have been doing that for the longest the time. verified the thing yeah so you know it's a real person well yeah they have to like pay for to actually use it sometimes right no i think you just gotta like verify it. they make you take a bunch of like photos like sideways on just so you, yeah that's <laughs> fucked up yeah <laughs> No, and the reason that's so, like, fucked you up You can't hide the angles Is because like 80% of users on dating apps are bots yeah. Controlled by the company And I know this because I used to do marketing for a lot of <laughs> dating apps And I guarantee they're verifying those fucking bots that they own, bro Not a stretch, bro Not a stretch That's what happens if you match with a bot What? What happens if you match with a bot? Fuck Hopefully they, they you have a great conversation and you're on the app a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then they can charge more for their CPM on advertising. Well, usually they try to get you to like the OnlyFans link or yeah, yeah. bullshit. Snapchat. Bro, so when I, I see be, that yeah, shit, I'm yeah. like, nope. When nope. I used to be yeah. on dating apps, I'd be like, FaceTime me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up a spoon, like chat roulette, and then they 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 would sometimes they'd be like, "Oh, you're real." I didn't think past this. I don't know. What to think. <laughs> <laughs> Just answer your friend like, "Oh shit." Yeah. Speaking of the chat roulette, have you seen the Kermit the Frog one? Yeah. No, what's that? Shit. What is that? It's the, it's like what is it? The um goal or whatever? Yeah, it's a, it's like. <laughs> That's good. Shit's hilarious, man. And I mean, the guy's got fucking like what, like three hundred thousand followers on Instagram now, just, <laughs> just, from, crazy. Doing that, just from showing a Damn. cucumber. <laughs> We've been doing it all wrong. <laughs> That's the flex. <laughs> We're gonna start doing puppet shows. What is it on? <laughs> YouTube. Oh my god! Talk yeah. to strangers. But he just posts yeah. the clips on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. People Instagram like fucking around Omegle, on Omegle's. Yeah, phone. we should just do that one day with Cam's face. Hell yeah! <laughs> in a BGC. Like, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, one day when you're like running late, we'll just have a fucking Cam puppet sit in until you get there. <laughs> do you think that like with all the blue check shit they're doing, maybe they should create another badge to like replace a red, for sure a red check? For sure, they're going like, to monetize the elite. Check. Elite. How yeah. many fucking things is it going to be? Well, so, like, what do you mean by, like, in, like, in a, a second? Okay, they don't have a status yeah, symbol like, anymore. Like next level, like, boss level. Yeah. Like, like what's going to be the next one? Gold. Maybe they should, like, Red change check. the color gold of check. Your name. That's gold check. Yeah, I mean, like, a sparkle. Sparkle? Oh, <laughs> like, replace the blue check. Instead of a blue check, it's, like, a gold, gold check. Yeah. Like, yeah. a first place ribbon mm -hmm. kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure the movie stars are pissed, too. Like, oh, what yeah. Is this, what is fucking Peter fucking 100 followers doing in my status? <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> 
those damn. I, feel like, I mean, some of <laughs> some of those dudes have been so verified for so long. They probably just don't care anymore. Yeah, they probably just yeah. What if they came out with a new like a gold check? Let's say, would you pay for it if there was that option? No, that no? thing would probably be expensive. Yeah, well, how much probably would like you pay? S- you know, I won't even pay the, the ten bucks they want for the blue one. <laughs> you wouldn't pay a dollar. I would pay a dollar. All right, so why are we talking like we wouldn't pay? My shit just kicked in right now. How the fuck? <laughs> you got the check? Just right now. That's right, baby. Verified. Do you, ha- you so not have it? No. Fucking loser. <laughs> 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 fucking bot. <laughs> you bot of a boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell everyone your account's a scam. <laughs> you Go report. Account, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's he, fucked up. He got hacked. You got hacked. Yeah, you'll literally get my account deleted so quick. Yeah, and then I'm going to message everyone about Bitcoin on your account. (laughs) (laughs) Like this link. Yeah. (laughs) That's some Target gift cards. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, man, Katie brought came back up when her shit was hacked. Story of hope. Yeah. You'll get or our Facebook page, bro. Yeah. You got hacked. You know what it's like to lose a page like that? How'd you get hacked? Shit we didn't get hacked. We yeah, got, you got, we got, we got banned. banned. <laughs> we got banned. <laughs> that situation was a little different. <laughs> yeah. We still had to build a Our new life account. was hacked. Okay. That <laughs> shit depended on that. That shit yeah. hurt. <laughs> Kyla hacked it. That was a fucking She wrote wow. shit in the caption. She wasn't enough. supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> Would you pay for the golden check? Um... Yeah. So, what would you pay for it? I feel like think like their premium one would cost. It's definitely like more than double. Probably more than I would pay. It's probably like at least I'd I'd say fifty a month minimum. I'd pay two grand for it. One time purchase. Yeah. What would you pay? Two to three, I think, is a. Yeah, one day of work, right? (laughs) 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 That's how I did it in my head. Yeah, two to, two to three, I think, would be. Because, I mean, that's what it pretty much cost before the right. subscription. For, yeah. you know, obviously, if somebody didn't see that you were driving a Bentley or some shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. to pretend to drive a Bentley. Well, because I always, like, bring it back to the tattooing. Like, do I think it would get me a few extra clients? Yeah, I do. A hundred percent. So. But it's the same with, with the followers. I mean, there's a whole, yeah. whole website on, like. If you have 100,000 followers, you should be charging this much. Oh, yeah. What is that? Someone showed me that, but I always you forget re- what it is. I forgot about that, too. I heard yeah, someone dude, was talking like, about like that. Like, it'll, sh- it'll sh- show you what you could charge for a post or something, right? Yeah. Well, not even the post, but as a tattooer itself. Like, oh, I didn't know that. You, yeah, like, there's a guy that made a website that essentially, like, says, like, you know, the, the correct amount to charge based on the Instagram followers. Oh, wow. The <laughs> one is, that the, is that the same one that goes over, like, the same? Because there's one that we heard that it tells you, like, how much to charge for promotion, yeah, story yeah. posts. Well, there's a few apps that, that'll do that for you, like, based on, you know, your engagements and all that stuff. But, yeah, there is one for tattooers that's, like, if you have over 100,000 followers, you should be charging over $2,000, you know. Hmm. So having a blue check, obviously. Yeah, yeah. No, but it, it re- I hate it, but it really does like play into into the business. It's a status, man. Yeah. It's, it is a status. Like just like Google listing and like you know uh, your it's, SEO. It's anything work. else though, like you're not if you pull up to your appointment in the fucking Kia. Right. You know, <laughs> and they're gonna be like, oh, I can fucking haggle this guy. Right, but if you're you know? a BRZ or whatever the fuck, <laughs> they'll be like, oh, maybe I should have fucking out with this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I've always said that, like, here, like, come in, like, presentable, like, come in, like, looking nice, and, you know, have I been guilty about, like, wearing sweatpants to work sometimes? Sure, but maybe I'm only doing that, you know, once in a while, and it's when I'm, like, tattooing a friend. Right. You know? Same client that you've already impressed. (laughs) Right. Yeah. (laughs) The return client, you're like, I'm wearing slides today. (laughs) But, you know. Ten bucks, turn is going to walk through that door in fucking sweatpants. I know. (laughs) With those weird... Bone, yeah, those fucking croc. predator crocs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like if you're not like, like we're somewhat in the business of appearance yep. of outside looks, you know. Um, it used to not be like that, which is right, wild, right? You know, but it's like, like if you're not presentable. Like slowly, like turn to fashion too, though. Yeah, it sure. It's almost like that sure. aesthetic world. Well, yeah, it's external, it's outside. You know, yeah. especially we've talked about this being in Florida. Like, there's even more pressure on yeah. it. You know, yeah. less clothes. The More surgeries are huge down yeah. here, med spas, like 
everything is exposed when you're like in a cold place okay. and you're bundled up and you're like not outside as much and you know well that and then like i said like the car you drive you know yeah. what jewelry you're wearing all that shit like, like you go to scotland man and you'll see like a ferrari every six months yeah you know and it's people don't give a fuck if you have a ferrari yeah <laughs> like, you said the roads are it, bad well, too right? to, yeah to I mean, them it, it look, like stuff. they just think you're wasting money like i remember point. when i first moved there i was like yo let's go pop some bottles at the club you know yeah. and they're like yeah cool like you know the club's this big and it's like in a basement and then like the vip is like an extra room where nobody sees you and i'm like where are my sparklers where is right, like, right. how is everybody gonna know i'm blowing this money that was the most it's like people don't give a yeah. fuck about yeah. who you are what you are like that's it like no, it's it's a very yeah like that was extremely south florida of you not yeah, a bad thing dude but if i go to a bar and they don't give me a sparkler with my shot i'm leaving <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i want people to know i'm here right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how do the women know where to go exactly <laughs> you gotta follow the light <laughs> like moths <laughs> yeah <laughs> bro. pretty much man i gotta have like you know like you have like those those bottle girls that like yeah only gravitate to the bottles to get free drinks like Right. I want that to happen with my fucking like shot, my fucking right. fifty dollars shot. Yeah. <laughs> right. Those poor girls have no idea where to go. <laughs> they probably haven't had a drink all night. <laughs> it's good, dude. I'll so, be honest. In the eight minutes that I've been verified, I feel sexier. You feel better. Has, I feel better. Has well, anything that's changed? Thing. It's gonna it's gonna take a little to like switch over because I think everyone's in that. And bro, me too. Like I'll be like in the fuck in the looking at my Instagram and like comments and whatever. And I'll like see a blue check and typically I'm like, Oh, I got to pay attention to that. Now you, know? you don't. Now I don't. Yeah. yeah. Still, I'm going to ride this wave <laughs> till the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I think you got like a couple months for, for it to make the switch in people's brains. Yeah. So I would, I would use it while you can take advantage of it. Yeah, the conspiracy <laughs> theorist. Oh, you got to take a picture of your license front and back. Fuck that shit. Yeah. TikTok already has my information. <laughs> like, I'm doomed, bro. They probably like, have my social security. Yeah, right like <laughs> I'm pretty careless. Yeah, they, they have all your data points, which is almost even more. Well, like TikTok, like I monetized on, so they have all my information. They got all your shit too. <laughs> yeah, but this is, bro. My friends have come up, and I'm like, yo, they been had my shit. Bro. Yeah, everyone's. Before you even had the app. They're just <laughs> telling you they have it now. Yeah. That's the only difference. But they're only going to tell you that, like, when they've already had it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, I'll lean into it sometimes as a, as a consumer. Like, if I'm on Facebook or whatever. I, listen, if you're not on there, like, they're not going to fuck with you. Yeah. If you're on there, though, they're going to press ads and whatever. But sometimes it's real convenient. I'm like, yeah, I did need workout gear. Yeah, I did yeah. need shoes. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> But yeah, I keep getting ads for cars on mine now. I'm yeah. like in the market room. Yeah. It's like the only thing I see is cars. Yeah. <sighs> it's creepy. It's kind of wild. Been talking about it. Like, yeah. It's fucked up. It's probably gonna <laughs> remember it's probably going to offer me the blue check again right after this. Remember <laughs> when that first started happening though? You're like, $10. my phone's listening to yeah, me. So like everyone would freak out weird, about man. it. Yeah. Still do. What? I said hot sexy midgets the other day and <laughs> all over my fucking page. I'm like, God damn. Yeah, but are you still freaked out by it? Like, you know it's <laughs> no, coming. No, like, you know you it's, know it's coming. I, I'm more at the point where I think it's cool. I'm like, oh, I, like, didn't want to search this up, so I you just, like, gave it to me. <laughs> I love seeing people's feeds because, like, Seth has a bunch of random execution videos. I'm like, yes. what do you search or what do you <laughs> talk about that your phone's doing? It's, like, it's yeah. the fact that he just likes one of them <laughs> and they just keep coming. Yeah. You think it's a normal video, then some guy gets his head blown off. Yeah. You see like a train. You see like pit. you see like a train. You're like, oh, cool. And it's like a dude laying across a baby it. Jumps in front yeah, <laughs> <laughs> stroller <laughs> just gets pushed into you. Like, damn. Yeah, dude, it's creepy. So that's Instagram's wild. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, every, yeah, everyone's is like tailored. Do you think yeah. they're gonna get rid of TikTok? I mean, the, what they said the ban's gonna be next week, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm not yeah. paying attention. Well, supposedly, yeah. Supposedly, there is a ban coming for TikTok in like a week. What Who's, do you who think signed about? that? I have no idea. I don't look into mm -hmm. that shit. I just see only in date and. Danny, you on it? <laughs> what? TikTok. <laughs> yeah, see if it's gonna be deleted. I'm on it. That's like they they they've been trying to get rid of. TikTok. Yeah, like yeah. since it came out. Yeah. I yeah. think it might be a good thing for us. I mean, look how long look at how long they've been trying to get rid of Facebook. Yeah. 
Like you've you've seen all like the court cases with like Zuckerberg and like they're all asking. I don't these know if weird they're like questions. trying to get rid of it as well. Much they're trying as to like limit him his like how I much think just information. To more. Yeah, that's what it is. And TikTok can't. They can't. I think it's wild the fines that they've whacked him with. Not, I'm not saying it's inappropriate. I just think it's wild. Like these like multiple billion dollar fines. Yeah. Well, and like, then you they what? have the restrictions over there like on the app. What do you mean? Like TikTok. Where does it come? It comes from China. Yeah. Um, I saw like the CEO like talking about it like a couple months ago. It's like there's limitate like you can't have the app if you're like under twelve over there. There's okay. not those limitations here, and like theirs is like geared a lot different than ours is. Like just like their whole that I know like like their the algorithm, algorithm yeah, what they push and whatever. Yeah. Like it's completely like they don't push like the the badass or the gory or like the creepy shit like we see like everything's very like clean cut like presented over there very like image I've, based i've heard they like here they promote like the silliness the stupid the yeah. waste of time over there, over it's, there like it's more math productive. school it's like successful i don't life. know if that's true I'm, you know yeah that's just like what he's saying i don't know if he's just saying bullshit but it's seen like their children are smarter he probably thinks north korea has food yeah, was, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you're describing north fucking korea yeah. <laughs> they don't can but i think yeah, if i think <laughs> there's no they're all smarter than i think if the app went away like the need for social media entertainment is not going to go away and it would drive everyone to Instagram. Facebook, you know, Instagram. Well, and then maybe it'll it's really fucking put people to pay for that subscription. Right. So, I mean, maybe it's Agreed. Meta that's trying to get TikTok banned. They're behind it. Yeah, for, yeah. I mean, they want... Zuckerberg, baby. <laughs> I'm bringing <laughs> back MySpace. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. That's well, and then there's all these other ones, too, like Rumble, the Truth Social, Truth Social was another yeah. one. What the fuck is That's Truth Trump's Social? one that he just opened that has, like, freedom of speech on it. Who opened it? Trump. Is, did Trump open it? Really? Yeah, it's Donald Trump's platform. Is it? Let's find out. Well, that's what Sean Never was saying. I've heard that shit before. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. I Sean said it was his because he got kicked off of Twitter. He created that. Oh, I don't know. I believe it. And, yo, you can literally say anything. Like, th- like threatening things yeah. you can say on it. <laughs> I can go in the middle of a street and shoot somebody. <laughs> Literally. Wild. So I went on there yo, and Obama, I like... Yo, I think Trump said something literally about like killing Biden <laughs> on it. <laughs> I, like, I was like, what? <laughs> That's rad. I went on there to like check it out and I like looked at the tattoo hashtags. Bad. It's mostly... And this is from like being on the app for 10 minutes. So take it for what it's worth. But it was like mostly like celebrity tattoo, conspiracy stories, like... If you look close at this cover up, you can see this brand from this group, you know, like that. Oh, like, oh, if you look at this tattoo, even though it appears like this, it's actually, you know, a symbol from this organized group, like shit like that. Right. Yeah, I feel like that app's full of like uh, conspiracy theorists right, and like so the outskirt people. Hats. So obviously, yeah, Dan's full of those people. <laughs> obviously, yeah, Dan, Dan, Dan signed Dan's, up right away. Yeah, it was his, it's his new favorite social media. <laughs> Finally, brand. my people. Whoa. And this Whoa. is by Trump. Yeah, yeah, it is Trump. Yeah, mm-hmm. interesting. Wow, yeah, I'm full freedom of speech. I'm gonna join. I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we might Did see they verify some people new... on there. <laughs> 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 out. Red check. <laughs> 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 we might see some new apps pop up from from TikTok going away. Yo, what happened to Vine? What? What happened to Vine? Oh yeah, that's literally yeah, what Vine. TikTok is. Yeah. Longer, right? It's yeah, fifteen seconds. Yeah, it's yeah. the scene fucking app. <laughs> well, I mean, that's where the reels popped up is because of yeah, fucking all that shit. You know? Yeah, that like endless scroll. Yeah, I think if TikTok closes, we're gonna probably get a bigger, better app. You think? I think so. Better. What would you make? <sighs> it's just gonna be somebody that's just gonna do it better, really. I think what I kind of liked about MySpace is that you can show your creativity on your page. Like, you can make it how you want. It's almost like a, a web page. I thought that was fucking Like, sick. customizing like, yeah. your profile? Oh, I never had this before yeah. my time, so I didn't That know, was, like, like too much work, work for me. Like, I don't want to yeah. build a website, yeah. bro. Well, you go to another website to copy the link. <laughs> 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 and all of a sudden, you're a fucking coder making fucking magic. Yeah. But that's also when, like, Napster was around. Yeah. So nobody yeah. really gave a fuck about anything. Yeah. 
LimeWire. Everything's so much more controlled now. I think you're downloading the song and you're not. Nope. <laughs> it's on Kelly's peeing video. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, explain this shit to the FBI. Why did they title it like that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Bruce Springsteen, man. Just waiting for South Park to make an episode of the Blue Check. That'd be good. That'd be good. That would be good. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see about the blue check. I would. I kind of would like to see like a gold check or like some other thing. It's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. like it's a premium happen. subscription. But I really do think if TikTok goes away, like it's going to force pressure on Facebook, Instagram, and I wonder if they'll like make changes to grow or if we will see like a new, a new app. app appear. Um, cause if we do see a new app appear, like you'd want to get on it as soon as possible. Right. Yeah, to, I to called dibs on John uh, at John Nelson. <laughs> 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 it seems though like it almost be like, it'd be kind of smart of them. Cause it'd be like a seamless transition. Cause like, look at how well, like you can use your Instagram and Facebook together. Like you can post to Instagram and it auto does it to Facebook. Right. Like if you could do that across all three platforms, doing one post and spreading them like that, like it's a gold mine for them. Yeah. But what would meta do? Just like open, uh, a TikTok variation? What's crazy? They could even just like fucking cut well, reels off of Instagram like what's really and just do that a reels different app. from Instagram to TikTok. Uh, besides the platform just, layout, I would say scrolling wise. Yeah, yeah. Like how like you open the app and it just throws you yeah, into it's the less content of a feed and just random shit. Yeah, right. It's just uh, an you open it's endless scroll. Definitely like yeah. a yeah. different algorithm because like the way how much more you can blow up on TikTok. Like I think it spreads your videos more. And is that, yeah, I wonder why that is. It's so, e- like, easy to grow a following on TikTok. 100%. You can post there. the same shit on Instagram and it'll do 10 but times But are better. there more people on there than Instagram? Or Absolutely. Fi- I don't think so. I think so. Yo, my Look it up. On Look it up. I don't think so. I think it's the fastest growing, but I don't think it's the biggest platform by any means. It'd probably be Facebook. Oh, 100% Facebook. a year ago it was not because I looked it up. Yeah, no, because I mean, I even with my daughter now, I'm like, hey, like, what's your Facebook? And she's like, why the fuck would I get Facebook? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't have one. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a Facebook? I do need to make one, though. Yeah, because you have to have a business account on Instagram. I have a business account on Instagram. I thought you couldn't have one without a Facebook. I have no idea. I don't have a Facebook. I have a meta account. I mean, honestly, the only reason I use Facebook oh, is to Oh, they did switch. Yeah. It's like once you have a meta, or meta. Yeah. Or some shit, you know, like, or to see who's Dear fucking Dear mom. Yeah. yeah. Like if Hope I, this letter receives you well. I mean, Instagram if it wasn't for Facebook, like, I wouldn't know anybody's birthday. Yeah. yeah. Or who I'm related to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so TikTok has one billion monthly active users, and Instagram has 1.4 billion. Right. So, yeah, they're still ahead. And fucking Pinterest has 480. No, it's million. Never mind. I got excited. 480 <laughs> I thought it was a million. million. Shit. Yo, what but are we? We're, we're posting on the wrong thing, baby. It's about to be Pinterest game. <laughs> Make I mean, Pinterest, Pinterest has 400 billion people. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't really use TikTok, but like, what are the, what's the bot situation on, on TikTok? I don't think it's as bad as Instagram. Oh, that's true. I don't think it's as bad as Instagram. You don't really at all. post shit like personal stuff on there. It's just video, video, video. Right. And it's I very hard to do, like, the direct messages on TikTok. You have to be, like, friends. Well, and right? a lot of people have it turned off. I think mine yeah. are turned off. Yeah. yeah. I think they do have, like, I, it's just set up a little bit better. I think it's just geared more for, like, exposure. Like, I think Instagram is, like, geared to, like, people you follow and people you know. TikTok is geared for, like, meeting new people. Is it, though? Because I feel more detached on TikTok. I feel like TikTok is... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but look like, at it's, the views. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not personal, like your Instagram almost. Like, right. you feel more connected on Instagram to people than TikTok, I'd Yeah, say. TikTok feels like, I want to be entertained. I'm, like, sitting down doing yeah. nothing. Yeah. I, you have three seconds to grab my attention. It reminds um, me of that movie, Idi- Idiocracy. Yeah. With, like, the fucking guy that just hurts, ouch my balls. <laughs> 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 I can almost guarantee that people know us because of tiktok because we're there's no real like like you're saying with instagram you have to be friends they rarely have that kind of you know i guess feed you can go on that other side and do it but not many people go on that feed because they do it on tiktok right and they want to use like just seeing their friends and family and all that shit yeah i think like just like with instagram like being able to like actually write like yeah, you can put a caption on TikTok, but no one's really reading your caption on TikTok. Yeah. Like, you're seeing your video. The caption's literally clear. You're yeah. scrolling right through. Like, Instagram, you're reading the caption. You're reading comments. Like, 
Yeah. Right. You but, actually, and I think we were talking about it with Nick. Like, you know, you see at these conventions or like these meet and greets or like whatever, people showing up with like 30 million on TikTok. Yeah. And they're like, meet me at the convention. I'll be there, whatever. And like 10 people show up. And then these guys with like 20,000 on YouTube and like a thousand people show up. Yeah. So it's like almost like quality of follower. Yes. Which TikTok, I would say is TikTok less to TikTok. me is like if I find a good video, I'm going to send it to my friend and take credit for the emotion produced. <laughs> it's like a very selfish yeah, app. Yeah, yeah. You're like you're welcome for sure. And I'm not going to interact with that person. I'm not going to look into them or whatever. Like Instagram, that's your reaction. Like, yo, if you want to like communicate, if you want to like try to meet up and like perform services and do tattoos or even have any back and forth, like it's Instagram, Facebook. You know, and like TikTok is this like detached, like I will say it's easier to get like known on TikTok. But if you're not like pushing them to like Instagram Instagram. and it's almost like a filter system, like go to my Instagram, like if you actually care, you know, and like most people don't. But those that do, it's like, okay, maybe this is like a quality follower. Maybe this is someone that I can actually interact with that appreciates what I'm doing, not just someone like mindlessly scrolling you know, uh, yeah. trying to consume. And I get that same feeling like on Instagram. Like you go to the, you click on their, like, I feel like you click on a TikTok profile, you like kind of look at their picture and you just start scrolling through their shit. Like yeah. you go to the Instagram, you like read their bio, like you see like a, I feel like a more authentic like following. It's more realistic. Uh, like you can see their engagement a little bit more. Like TikTok's link, like, like link trees are usually right there. Like people have all their information. Yeah. I know you can do that on TikTok, but I feel like people are more likely to click it on Instagram. With the detachment, though, I think it's harder to get canceled on TikTok because people have, don't have care as much. What? We've only got what shadow banned on TikTok. No, we got banned. We got Remember, banned. for like a month, our account was down. When I was in New York. Facebook took already like so much out of me. I I know. (laughs) (laughs) You're numb numb to that. No, but I'll see some crazy shit on TikTok that'll be up for a while. (laughs) Like, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like murder and shit that like wasn't alive. Yeah. But it's like on Instagram, Facebook, like the people there, like to me, they're more like real people and they care a little bit more. So if you post something that they don't like, they're going to let you know. And they'll probably let yeah. Meta know too. TikTok, they're like, ah, whatever. That's what, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I've seen worse. Yeah, I don't even know what account that is. Yeah, yeah. TikTok's a fucking fast food drive through. Yeah, like you just you want your shit. You're gonna go real quick and get it. And it's like the gas station of like social media. Like it's busy as shit. It's like a Wawa. Wawa. It's the busiest <laughs> shit, you know. And it's like. But it's, but it's Wawa. <laughs> we both said Wawa at the same time. <laughs> wow. Well, it's like, t- it's like Wawa, of like the social media. It's like a gas station. Like people are in and out. Like you, you need it. It's there. It's, conven- the it's convenient. It's convenient. It's open 24 seven. Like, but it, no one takes it serious. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Like, I guess, <laughs> like, I don't know if Fuck it like, you does, Wawa. <laughs> I don't know if it like beat. does anything for like business. And that's like a lot of my perspective is coming from that. Cause I'll use the platform, you know, for business. Maybe it does. Stuff for like social aspects, but because you're saying meet people, you meet people on TikTok. No, oh, no, on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram's yeah. a little more personal. Because, dude, essentially what we do on TikTok is try to get the like you said, everyone over there. Yeah, right. through our Facebook and to all that shit. So it's the, almost like a welcome mat. TikTok pres- pushes your shit like internationally too. Like you'll right. like you're like, like, I feel like in Instagram, like I'm, I'll post something and it'll like gear it towards U.S. or Florida, like even in general, like yeah. to my area. Like TikTok will send your shit to people like in Australia, Germany. Like you're getting like comments in other languages and shit, and you're just like, very rarely are those people gonna get tattooed because of how far they are. So would you be happy or sad if TikTok got banned in the U.S.? Like like, it affect, it, aff- it would skits? affect you more. <laughs> what? It would affect you more. My TikTok's kind of dead. And when John's affected, you're affected. Yeah. Right? I think it affects him a little bit more, though. Of course it does. Yeah. <laughs> Take it out on you is what I'm trying Did to say. Do you skits. get business off TikTok? Uh, yeah, but not, like, directly. Right. Just from, like, pushing them to, like, other platforms, you know? But I think TikTok had a lot to do with us in the beginning, like getting known and the videos like going so viral. Yeah. But it only, which to me, like it means nothing 
unless it translates to real life. You know what I mean? Because we see you see it with everyone. Almost everyone I know that like somewhat takes TikTok seriously has had at least one video go viral. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's like stupid Every, enough. Everyone. What's that? Everyone. Well, <laughs> everyone who like I say like continues to do it. <laughs> everyone that's like like everyone I've met that's like no no I, I'm gonna like really take TikTok serious yeah. and like try to go viral like you know whether it's a, a tattoo or whether it's like someone slipping and falling and they got it on video yeah. you know um but it it's like cool you post a fucking video and people just want to battle in the comments which is cool you know it's engagement right i mean i had to stop because that's originally <laughs> in tiktok that, i was like this right. is what's cool like yeah. the comments but I, after a month, I got banned. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, Taking the bait. Which, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was comedy. I well, I was new to it. I didn't know how it I always get annoyed at those videos on TikTok. They're like six episodes long. Yeah. So like, like sub- watch my story oh, yeah, for the, the part two yeah, or whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think like with TikTok, it's a prime example when people say, bro, I didn't even know you tattooed. It's because of TikTok. Yeah, because if you're yeah. on Instagram, you know you tattoo. I was gonna say like that's that's like a good point is like the fact that like the TikTok is like kind of just like to grab the audience, and then you go to Instagram to see the actual tattoos, the actual yeah. work, the actual product. Like and I see like companies do that too. Like they'll they'll showcase their product like on TikTok, like use it. Then you go to their Instagram to see like product images, like actual like information about the product, stuff like that. It's wild though, like last week. On TikTok, I posted a video pretty much saying, like, a lot of people have been asking how to book. If you want to book, go to my Instagram and message. I would say 70% of the comments were like, wait, this isn't a character? You actually (laughs) tattoo? What we booking? Bro, like, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And it just, go. it just, like, kind of proves the point even more, like, is this really doing anything for yeah. me? <laughs> you know? I'm on TikTok. John's like re <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? dance, monkey, dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give you more videos. <laughs> you want bloopers? <laughs> Stop bringing real shit to our world. <laughs> Be mean to Cam. <laughs> and like it. Cam, if you were to create your own social media platform, what would you call it? Because I hate saying TikTok. I can't, Me I can't, too. I can't look past it. Me too. I think it's the worst. Yeah. You I say, can't believe you know, it blew. I can't Instagram believe it blew up or, just because of the name. I hate that fucking name. Yeah. Man. It's horrible. TTs. TikTok. Like, what am I like wasting my time? That's yeah. what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would you name yours? I don't even know. Not TikTok. Camelot. Talk tick. <laughs> <laughs> Camagram. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, yeah. I thought, sounded Only like can. a fucking yeah. drug deal. It sounded like a drug deal. Instagram, page. yeah. yeah. It's like I'm caught in a gram real quick. Get, bro. It's <laughs> Instantly. Not, it's not instant. <laughs> what, would your, what would your social be? Your social media? That actually wouldn't be a bad t shirt to make it. Only cans? Only cans? Yo, yeah. we've been talking about oh. that for months. You should, man. Dude. Not. Yeah, mine would be called Only Cans. <laughs> I'm going to run that shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like when Tyler Nolan was doing the his banner, though. The truly Nolan fucking oh yeah exterminator shit that yeah. shit was hilarious that was good wait what is that you've seen the truly Nolan no oh it's like the the one they're like they, they had the buggies with the tails on them weren't they yeah and I think the ears and yeah, shit yeah, yeah yeah so they were like exterminators and so Tyler grabbed that and marketed it for himself ran with it killed it one time we were, <laughs> at, a, we were at a convention uh, and Tyler had like a new banner. And Sabrina Sawyers was with us. And when Tyler wasn't looking, she, like, fucked with the banner. And I think, like, put a, like, banana in his mouth and, like, made it, like, essentially, you know, have a different appeal. Like, edited it? Or, like, the actual banner? I think she, like, taped it on. Or okay. maybe she made a whole new ba- I forget. She, like, fucked with the banner somehow. <laughs> and he didn't notice for, like, a while. He just had doing this, like, huge fucking banner behind him. It's wildly bana- inappropriate. Changed the tattoo machine to a banana. <laughs> well, I mean, it kind of looked like uh, he was yeah. sucking a banana, you know, or whatever. And, uh... Nice. That, that was a really... It ended up working, like, beneficially, because everyone's like, Bro, you see fucking Tyler's banner? I don't... Everyone go check it out. And, like, he was being, like, (laughs) I don't think he knew, so he was being, like, 
so nonchalant about it. Like they probably just thought he was doing it like, to be funny. Is that you? Yes, yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sabrina's got a good sense of humor, though. We should do that. We should do that with you. We should no, make a ridiculous, him, a ridiculous banner. What? I had I was gonna say, well, don't tell him. Bro. I had the we'll bro. We don't have to we'll trick him. Well, I had the idea for the for like my banner just looking like really scared of you. <laughs> well, because like ours oh. were next to each, ours were next ours were next to each other at Philly, and I was thinking like how funny uh, it would look if like uh. yeah, and thinking how funny like yours was all serious, and I think it'd be funny if mine was like just me like. Looking to the side, like at your banner, like no, you know, be tight. Like John's is like this. All you see is that, and then yours right next to him is fucking his hand. And there's like a, like a like <laughs> <this>. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be fire. <laughs> we'll hang it next. I was trying to do a funny banner, but allegory went with the serious so one. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to do the this like Paul Schnell. <laughs> <Paul's laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, uh, like Paul I don't know. Lip? I'm like, I don't know if we, if we can do that. I'm like, no, Paul and I are boys. He'll think it's funny. And then I just went with the other one. Yeah. I can't wait till Adrian gets a banner. I, remember, I, saw, a clown. I saw Paul's for the first time. When <laughs> Bro, I just picture Adrian's banner, him standing there. Depressed with his shirt off. <laughs> How <laughs> fire would that be? Yeah. <laughs> I have that photo somewhere. Let's make it happen. Hell yeah. That's what I want. He doesn't even have to go to a convention. We just hang it up above the station. Yeah. No, I'm going to hang it. I'm going to hang it like he passed away. Just like, <laughs> right right next to Dizzy's. Like, <laughs> I told him, I'm like, I want to make shirts of like you dead and then have you wear it. Like, I was at the youth fair. I saw all those fire shirts where it's like, damn, imagine Adrian walking into like the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the R, like the RIP yeah. shirt. Oh, like yeah, the, I set up the, the Facebook RIP post. Yes. Yeah. 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 Both Adrian. Yeah, it just they like, made him at the youth fair. So I'm like, this is fire. Wow. Bird I love those it. pictures. Hell you know yeah. those? Which ones? Like the RIP on Facebook, like when someone passes, it's, like, the it's like a family photo, or you can tell they poorly edited them out. Grainy like as fuck. Their, yeah. their boys' yeah. photo, and then they put like <laughs> shitty wings on them or whatever. Yeah, and there's like three more other photos of them, like in the background. Right. I'm dying. Yeah, I'm cool. dying to make that shit for myself and walk around with it, bro. I think they should make them like more realistic. Like if one of my friends died, they'd be a devil. They wouldn't be an angel. <laughs> then get, Put like, some fucking uh, horns on yeah, that thing. Dude, this like, is your boy overdose. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> just, just start taking fucked up photos of your friends just in case. Hey, just somebody yeah. snorting a line. Bro, <laughs> I have like, we have this <laughs> treasure trove of videos of almost every one of my friends. Like, if one of my friends, like, relapses on drugs, we get a video of them. All right. And we have, like, everyone, bro. The best is probably Seth's. Oh, her, yeah. Her teeth her video. Teeth video. Yep. Imagine that on a shirt. That's how you memorialize him. <laughs> yeah, that, I already know the picture for him. <laughs> yeah, just the worst. You got to have the arm on the wall. I love that video. Oh, man. That made me not want to do drugs. <laughs> they should have just shown that video in Dare. Yeah. What? That Seth's video, video? Yes. Oh, yeah. I don't need to see a reenactment shit. That would that scare crazy. every child away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be a great campaign video. Yeah. Or the faces of meth. You guys oh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't remember those shit? The faces of meth? No. It's like oh, they yeah. They started out like... Attractive oh, and like okay, yeah, progressively, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. turn into a goblin. Like within a year, they're like twenty <laughs> yeah. years older. I like the jail photos where they just get their whole face tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like puzzle pieces yes. and devil horns and clowns. I love how, like, for marijuana, their eyes just get red. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> just the smile grows more. <laughs> they're like this in the beginning, and then they're like this at the end. What do your banners look like? It's always, I'm always with Allegory or FK, so it's... Just a whatever they want. Yeah, yeah, it's never it's never anything fun. I'm always... I always like the fun ones. Yeah. Like, if I walk by, I'm like, nice. That's hilarious. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That guy's showing dick up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. seen but a few that were, like, wrestlers. That were, like, pretty funny. <laughs> oh, that's had, good. Like, that's 80s bad. wrestler photos. Yeah. Photoshopped themselves into it. Those are pretty funny. <laughs> 
Yeah, we all did our like little league photos the one year, put the body mods on them. Um, I always think it's funny, like the Ink Master people banners. Oh, because they put Ink Master on the banner. Yeah. yeah. And they're like flying solo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just skips their shit, like, oh, Ink Master. Yeah, yeah. Well, some of them they had, I don't know if they still do it. They had like the Ink Master row. Do they yeah. still do that? They did that in Philly. I don't know. Like do, all, do you remember that though? Yeah. Well, it, in Philly, they just had a couple Ink Masters together. Oh, like you're saying like Ink Master does they a use, booth. No, no, no. Like, like the like organizers would put an entire row of just Ink Masters. They would just make sure to make them all in the same row. Yeah, just all of them. It would just yeah. be like Ink Man. That was always like the fucking craziest row. Yeah. Which was you talking like Skid Row crazy or <laughs> no? Like it was just like you know, like you're on TV. It's like. You know, I mean, you saw, like, people gravitated to you because yes. TikTok and all that shit. Yeah. And so it was the same concept with the whole Ink Masters row. Like, people just gravitated to them because they were on Yeah, TV you just wanted to be, like, next to that row. row. Hell yeah. Just stay away from that row. <laughs> there would be so much beef in that Yeah, there's shit. a lot of there's <laughs> a lot of tension. <laughs> there's, there's, staring at each between other between the four of them, there's a lot of tension. I would be dead in that row. <laughs> but I would just want to see who would be proud to be in that row. You go there, it's just me sitting there. <laughs> Danny's like, right. you tattooed? No, but I'm on Santa. Santa and protein. <laughs> I am a pro. Yeah. Oh man, dude, lives will be ruined when that TikTok goes away. No. No, I mean, I'll be excited not to see people's Instagrams with 400 plus million on TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> I do hate that when I see that in the bios. Like, like, they got like 200 like, k. That, that is kind of like a, a blue check on its own. Yeah. It's like just flexing your other following. Yeah, just flexing. Yeah. Like, yo, just put it in your link tree. I'll fucking click yeah. it and see it. I don't know. Sometimes though, like I'll see people like on Instagram and um and like other people say they're a big deal and I'm like, what what? And then I r- later realize it's because they have a crazy TikTok following. Yeah. But like not really a following anywhere else. Yeah. You know? I usually notice it's like if you have a big following in one of the other platforms, the other ones never it's rare for it to match up. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Unless, unless you hit on the right one first. Right. Like I feel like if you have it big on YouTube, you got it big everywhere else. Yes, I agree. Like if you're a million on YouTube, you're yeah. probably the same on Instagram. Yeah. Like I feel like because your YouTube is fans. Like that's a f- I, th- I think that's the highest fan base you could get. Because like you said, like twenty thousand subscribers on YouTube. Like you put together an event, like you, there's gonna be people there. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're engaging in. 15, 20 minute yeah. videos, like they want to see you type shit. So, like, if you have that following on YouTube, you're pretty much set. Who owns YouTube? Is that Facebook? Ron, you're being really Google? fucking annoying. Google? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ron's your apprentice, right? Ron's my apprentice, yeah. I did want to talk a little bit about your shop. Yeah. Um, and how long has it been? O- it's in Miami. It's in Miami, yeah. It. Is, I don't know if I'm, it's, is it like a, now I'm losing the word. Like a Amazing, sp- yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank like you. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Like a speakeasy. It is, yeah. It is a speakeasy. So it's a cafe in the front, and then it's uh, like a library bookshelf that right. leads to the tattoo studio in the back. So. Which is so cool. Yeah. That it's fucking, a, it's like, what, a bookcase that slides open? It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like a special it it like has that. a window that I'm going to put a fish tank in now, and then I'm going to cut out like a coil tattoo machine design in front of it so from the cafe side all you see is the coil machine with the fish tank yeah and then from the other side you see the full fish tank but yeah it's getting completely closed off so it is full speakeasy have you been there no i want to go it's no. yeah sick. i've seen like all the videos and stuff it looks really fucking yeah because cool. you have a lot of space dude which is cool 100 square feet yeah, yeah you let well we went in from the back but in the front you like walk in it's this huge open space with a bar nice high ceilings and then you have, you know, the the um, slide, the door, the fucking bookshelf door, and it's just boom. It's like these beautiful, what is that, epoxy floors? Epoxy and resin, yeah. Yeah, epoxy resin floors. He's always got some different cool fucking car in the center. Yeah. All the tattooers are surrounded the side. Yeah. There's this little, like, um, chill area with, like, couches, TV, yeah. and shit. It's definitely one of the shops I want to visit the most. But well, you haven't. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. I just I guess not that much. <laughs> <laughs> to be brutally honest, I think I told you that I just hate Miami. Yeah, yeah. I just I don't even know if his car would make it down. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I went with to Miami, Adrian drove me there. So 
I'm just, yeah, you, if I'm ever in Miami, I'm not the one driving. Yeah. And you take a lot of guest artists too, right? Yeah, we do, yeah, yeah. Which is cool. I like seeing yeah, that rotating guest like artist. International though. artists, guess a lot of guys from like South Korea and, you know, Fuck all yeah. the 10 years of travel. Oh, yeah, you said that like a lot that. of South yeah, Korea. Yeah, yeah. 10 years of traveling, about 30 conventions a year. Right. Yeah. Those dudes over there are pretty rad. A lot of people. Koreans are yeah, I follow a bunch of like yeah, yeah. South Korean artists. They're yeah. Korean. They're black works. Fucking ridiculous. Everything, man. Yeah. Everything, everything is, you know, it's. They definitely take tattooing to like a super high degree. Yeah, feel they're, like they're, they're they feel like level. it's an honor almost. Like it's a privilege. Like they all produce like pretty solid work. How do you know all this stuff? I follow a lot of like yeah. South Korean art. Yeah, it's weird. Like every time I find an artist I like, it's like boom, South Korea. Yeah. yeah. And you like talk to them and stuff? No. Oh, well, I wish. <laughs> Are you just assuming? No, it says in their like bio and stuff. Uh, <laughs> like all those, like all those, like all those, like do. Like, Very proud of my work. <laughs> like, oh wow, they're proud people. <laughs> like, all, they just seem like they care almost. Sure, no, no, it's no, like no, cons- no. consistent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like, I care. I care. I'm proud of my work. We are hardworking. Does your I profile for, look like you? I don't speak care? for my whole country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like all those like underscore bl blk guys, like the black guys, like. They're all like over there and they're all fucking super sick. And they're all like freehanding everything. It's just cool. I like that shit. But yeah, so a lot of the guest artists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my bio. <laughs> 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 fucking That's it. I care. <laughs> Very proud. Great honor. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, aside from that, we usually do events like once a month. You know? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, we, we curate art shows because I do a lot of. Uh, collaborations with galleries and stuff like that and local artists so you know. how long have you been open a year a year and what have you have you noticed like response to community what's that like like people are keen to get involved they're like quick yeah to support. i mean you know it's our events usually bring like 150 plus people nice. at a time so it's you know people see it and they're like oh shit i want to be part of this because it, it is a different vibe it's not just like you don't walk into a tattoo shop you're yeah. walking into the cafe that's a gallery and you know i got a stage in the corner for you know live music and right. poetry nights or whatever you know and, and that like goes with what you were saying when we were talking about guest spots and maybe people not feeling welcome yeah. and like it, it's the opposite of that vibe. Yeah, exactly now like, i can lock them in the cafe yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they can walk in the back everyone gives them weird yeah. looks and they can go back to the cafe you know, funny <laughs> yeah. enough is originally so I, I originally i was gonna close off the entire separation not even put the bookshelf and if it wasn't for the city forcing me to have two bathrooms i was gonna make sure one of the bathrooms always looked like it was closed and disgusting and dirty and all that shit and then put another door inside of there and i just wanted to see people's reactions oh yeah like you know like five tattooers walking into a fucking bathroom you're just sitting here drinking your coffee and like not coming out <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> like, <right. laughs> and then just more people oh just going yeah, in there. yeah 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 that's funny <laughs> What are they doing in there? <laughs> yeah. That's a big ass Spending bathroom. Like super fucked up. Yeah, you know, just like shit on the walls, like yeah. <laughs> cracked mirror. Like right, exactly. Mirror. You know, flickering lights, yeah, sink like, that don't work. Yeah. yeah, that's sick. And then um, you you have Ron here, and he's your apprentice. Ron is my apprentice. It. Uh, I I didn't want an apprentice. I don't blame you. Yeah, and then. Um, <laughs> One day I just woke up and said, I don't want to fucking mop this floor anymore. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I looked. And Ron and was born. Yeah. <laughs> I, I looked and looked and looked, man. And I just had a bunch of just fucking idiots, man. Yeah. And it kind of like put me back at like me not wanting an apprentice of it. Cause it sucks, dude. They're just like. Not that they're annoying, but they're just, like, I just feel like everybody's so fucking entitled these days. Yeah. And it's just, they don't want to work for it. They're not dedicated or, you know, there's some something always, just some bullshit, you know. If it's one thing I always hated was when people, like, DM'd you if you were taking apprentices. Right. Like, that is an automatic no for me. You know, if, like, if you want to be an apprentice and you want it, like, go fucking get it. Like, show up in person. Go to the fucking studio. Right. Ask them 50 fucking times, and 51, they'll most likely be like, fuck, yeah, stop annoying me. Come. <laughs> right, because it shows you're, you're willing it's the initiative. to show like, up. It's already like, yeah. hey, like, I'm here. Like, I'm already fucking here to work for you. Like, you know, and so um, with Ron was actually, like, I was just over it, and uh, I was ready to just fucking just 
and he keep sweeping and mopping yeah. and just call it a fucking day. And uh, he came in and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, man. Like, hang out for the day. Let's right. let's see where this goes. And uh, you know, he's just hung out and watched me tattoo. And I remember, I think it was, was it a back piece I was tattooing? It was chest piece. And so I remember I was on this side and Ron was on this side with me. And then I went around and Ron followed me with the tray. Ooh. And I was like, dude, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> but like that already was like, oh shit, like, you know, he, he's, he's here. You right. know, he wants it. You know, whereas like most people, like I've, I've had tattooers that are like, I want to learn from you. And I'm like, cool, man. Like, come hang out, you know, like ask me questions. I'll teach. Like, I'm not hiding secrets from fucking anybody. Right. Like you want to learn, you come to my shop, you ask me whatever the fuck you want. I will tell you. Um, but you know, most people I say that to and they're like, cool. And they hang out for like, an, you know, 10 minutes and walk around, wander around, look at art, whatever. And then come back and then leave and come back. And it's like, well, what the fuck are you doing here? Like now you're just annoying me right. <laughs> you know but yeah ron you know came did that shit and that was already an automatic yes for me and then you know every day was he's actually been fucking helpful i mean it helps that he's older and he's yeah. not a fucking kid that parties and gets drunk and gets fucked up you know and so all that shit helps. how many me. how long has he been with you it's been like a week okay <laughs> <laughs> it's uh yeah like two weeks yeah <laughs> uh and then dude i mean fucking guy like i'll be in bed you know like my first appointment's usually like at 10 and i'll be in bed watching tv at like nine in the fucking morning and the cameras will fucking light up at like seven and that's like when he goes and nice every day he's at the shop but like fucking i'd say the latest 8 30 in the morning to like set me up and set up whoever's there and yeah you know make coffee and fucking just help you know he doesn't bitch he doesn't complain he just does you know and it actually makes me not want to be a dick yeah <laughs> yeah you i know? get that there's times where i'm like dude <laughs> like it's hard not to be a dick sometimes right. but then for the most part like you know like even one time just fucking with him i was like hey ron like go wash my car yeah you know and he just he like looked at me and i'm like no like go wash my car and he did it you know nice. like and at that point i was like oh okay cool like he's yeah. He's going to wash everybody's cars. I thought you were, you, <laughs> yeah. you thought you were about to say, like, you chose he was done. Dude, I was just messing with you. You chose the one shop with 100 cars, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, not that car. <laughs> yeah. So it's been working out, you know, and he, right. he draws and he, he wants it, man. So that's nice because, yeah, like, it really, like, pushed me for – you know, like I didn't have an, I, I had one apprentice 10 years ago and I hated it. I never wanted to do it again. And then it's just like the market's just over fucking saturated. Right. And I get some people are like, well, there's enough for anybody. But it's like, not when you're like apprentice is opening up a shop like two blocks away and charging yeah. fucking $10, like, and then right. hiring a bunch of fucking apprentices for himself. Like, and it happens. Like, it hasn't happened to me, but it, like, I know plenty of people that that's happened to. Yep. <clears throat> they just open up across the street and then fuck you every six way. That's and then they bitch about it. And yeah, then they get more bro. apprentices. And then it's like a vicious fucking circle. And it's just... Yeah, it's just not good for the community. Yeah, I mean, it just gets watered down. And quality goes with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. for and sure. And, you know, the, the value and it just it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I get that some people should learn, but, like, like anything else, you know, people fuck it up, yeah. you know, and it's, there's a reason why tattooing was so taboo and so hard to fucking learn, you know, and it's, it, it is, a to me, it's always been a privilege, you know, like, I, th like, there's times where I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to fucking tattoo, and then I think, like, what else can I do? And there isn't, there's there fucking were. nothing. Right <laughs> <there>. <laughs> like, I'm absolutely fucking useless. Yeah. Unless it's, like, what am I going to fucking be a mechanic and get right. paid, like, you know, whatever they get but like ten dollars an hour or fifteen dollars an hour like and not travel the world and not fucking hang out with my friends and yeah you think your back hurts it. now like that yeah, fucked dude, you up. like I, you know like i want to be hung over the next day <laughs> tattooing talking to my friends about how fucked up last night was <laughs> 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 at work yeah yeah, yeah exactly your work was crazy yesterday <laughs> 
Like, you know, like, I want to be able to, like, travel with you the or freedom. John or yeah. whatever the fuck and be like, oh, let's go to fucking Germany and make yeah. fucking 10 grand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then come back and work more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like It's the lifestyle. Yeah. I always know? go back and forth about that, though, because, like, obviously, you know, Cam was an apprentice, Logan is now, and, like, oversaturating the market. Yeah. I'm like, uh, like, not to, like, say it like this, but, like, should like should the shop keep cranking out apprentices yep. you know Sh- and then it's like okay should i like be more selective on like who I, th- I think i'm a one and done kind yeah of like, yeah i think after ron like maybe if i'm still tattooing in 10 fucking years and yeah i don't want to make a stencil you know because like right. <laughs> right. i like the idea of like apprentice mentor relationship like, a lot of people look at it as, like, one year, maybe two years. I like to look at it as, like, five, like, ten. Like, this is, like, a forever thing. I mean, just the other week, like, I had my mentor on. Yeah. And, like, we're still in contact. We still talk about tattooing and, and like, have that. Yeah. And I'm starting to see that disappear. I'm yeah. starting to see, like, cool, I teach you how to tattoo for a fucking year, and then you fly out of the nest and you never fucking come back. Well, it's just and you talk whole, shit about me the whole yeah, it's time. The whole entitle- <laughs> yeah, it's the whole entitlement shit. You know, it's like yeah. people forget. Like, you always hear people bitching about, like, oh, like, they treat me like shit or this or that or, like, I'm not getting paid. or, But, like, realistically, like, you don't pay to go to college. Like, right, like, well, you pay to well, go you to actually, college. You, you actually pay to, you go in debt to go to college. Yeah, yeah, like you're fucked. Like, yeah. you want to be a doctor? Like, no, you're, like a ta- you're and fucked. A free forever. apprenticeship is like a golden ticket, bro. Exactly. Like, and it's like. But I feel like, yeah, like as a, somebody who's like fresh out of it, I feel like, because I didn't really, because I felt like how you, like what you're saying. What do you mean like, out of it? <laughs> 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 like on the end of it, at least, you know, like making like money now, at least. What happens how much? How, how long do you feel you have left in your apprenticeship? <laughs> I don't fuck. I gave up. I just <laughs> <laughs> whenever at this what, point, bro. Right. What, what is now, the, what is the end? Like. What does the end look like? I feel like once, like when you're able to tattoo five days a week. That's the end. No, like I mean, like like when you're coming towards the end of your apprenticeship. What is it, what does an apprentice mean to you? <laughs> so, Choose your words wisely. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, obviously, probably like youngest person in the shop least experienced um i feel like the term changes as like the apprenticeship goes on you're still like an apprentice like you still have like your duties and like your expectations daily but like it does change like once you start to like tattoo and stuff because then your expectations change like it's not just like you know being like clean and having like all your stencils ready it's now like now you have to produce good tattoos and now you're making you the shop money i'm gonna give you a hint when Trent came, what did he call me? John? <laughs> his, his apprentice? His apprentice. Yeah. No, and I know I'll forever be your apprentice. Like, and I know, like, tattooing, like, you're, like, I, the way I've looked at tattooing, too, is, like, you'll always be an apprentice. Like, you're this always is, this learning. This is the photo you should take of him, scared for the banner. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I know you know this, but, like, to me, apprentice means... Someone that's learning. Yeah. Someone that is open-minded. And I, I think there should always be a part of us that's an apprentice. Yeah, 100%. I think Just like Trent will always be my mentor. Yeah. And, I'll, and I'm his apprentice. Yeah, 100%. You know? Yeah. And it doesn't mean, like, I can't mentor other people or whatever. Yeah. I, I understand. Maybe, like, the end... Is like cool. You're not doing like free tattoos. Like yeah. you are a tattoo artist. That's what I'm saying. It's like I'm charging people. There's expectations for me to meet like a certain. Right. I just hope it's not like cool. I'm done learning. No. No. Never. Right. I mean, I, you know that I'm yeah. like that though. <laughs> <laughs> just giving me a hard time. <laughs> but like, yeah, I think that had, that's a good mentality that I think everyone should have. Like you're well, apprentice forever. Because some people stop. They're like, I'm no, done yeah. being an apprentice. Yeah, I mean, but like, I know everything. When you have that mentality, I'm gonna open my own shop. Like when you have that mentality, I, mean, I feel I'm like not, you're I'd done be lying tattooing. If that didn't happen to me. What's that? What you just said, like okay. where I got to a point where I was like, I don't fucking need these guys anymore. Right. You know, but it was also that they treated me so fucking shitty and with such little respect that you it's know, like a form of resentment true. almost. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that I got to that level, and I feel like that kind of 
fucked my career up a little bit because yeah. I had that mentality that I was top fucking dog. Like that, yeah. And that I didn't need anybody. Right. So that kind of like put a halt. And I feel like a lot of tattooers hit that wall and it it sucks. Yeah. You know? But I feel like, and like until you get out of it, like you don't get any better. Yeah, but like if the ones who like continue to grow, like I feel like are always just learning still. Well, like like the Nikos, yeah. the Bens, like they're all just still constantly learning, open to everyone. Right. Yeah. Because there could be a situation where, like, you just have a garbage mentor, which obviously that happens all the time. All the yeah. time. You know? Um, and it's not surprising. Look where most of us come from. Uh, and, like, a lot of apprentices are going to take any chance they get, too. So true. it's really not on the apprentices either, I feel like, right. in some situations. And you can leave and, like, find other mentors in life or, like, people to look up to or to learn from or whatever. I just think it's a bad spot if you are – uh, unteachable or like your ego's in the way or you're like cool i'm done like i know everything yeah. you know and i'm more concerned about when i see that happening to these first second yeah. third year tattooers social media has a lot to do yeah. with that as well you, know, yeah. you get people blowing smoke up your ass that don't know shit about tattooing and you believe it yeah, yeah. you know when your mom and her fucking 50 friends are like, oh, my God, he's the best tattoo artist right. ever. And you're like, maybe I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm opening up my own shop. <laughs> yeah, my tattooing all my, my mom's My mom's friends. telling people I can do, like, crazy cover-ups. I'm like, don't be telling people this yeah. stuff. Like, no, 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 They're like, oh, I want to finish my tattoo. It's like, no, I don't want to finish that. I want to start something new. Yeah. Like, I can't match that style. I mean, my, my apprenticeship was three years. Yeah. You know, the first year, I couldn't even touch a machine. Like, it wasn't until that first year that, like, I'd fucking get, like, slapped in the fucking mouth for, yeah. like, touching a machine, you know, just to look at it. It was yeah. literally just tracing, drawing, cleaning, fucking... Food. Yeah. Food. For years. The <laughs> second year was tracing, drawing, cleaning, yeah. and then finally, like, all right, set me up, you know? And then at the end of that second year, it was like, all right, like, cool, like, you think you're ready? Like, tattoo yourself. Right, and the funny part is it was for way less money back then, too. I didn't fucking do it. Yeah, it was free. They, I mean, they taught me how to pierce to make some well, money. Well, no, I mean, yeah, like, because back then, like, or how long ago was that for you? Fucking 15 years ago. Right. Even, like, when we made it to the end as, like, a tattooer, at least me, like, yeah. wasn't making great money. No, not at all. And, like, working for years of, like, free and bullshit and hard yeah, work. Yeah, dude. To get to the end, being so happy and grateful about yeah. it, and like maybe making five, six hundred a week. Maybe I think that might have been a good week. Yeah. And like now, it's like a year in. Not everyone, but like some apprentices, complaining about, oh, I gotta work for free for a fucking year, and blah blah blah. And like some of them, for first year, they're making like a thousand a week, two grand a week. It's like you spoiled piece <laughs> of shit. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. it's wild. It's Times are changing. Yeah, dude. Back in our day. I don't know. I, I, feel, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm like at the, that point like where I'm like making like around that money, but I feel like it's almost like just actually like really starting now. Bro. And you, <laughs> when you, no, 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 this isn't against you, but when you said, when you said money, bro, it just like, cause I was having a conversation with someone this week, one of the artists that's like, they're like, honestly, for me, it's just about the art. Yo, when someone says that to me, I want to hit them in the face. <laughs> Yo, I was like, cool, it's just about the art. Come work for me. They're like, awesome. I'm like, you're going to make 0%. <laughs> and they're like, what? That's fucked up. I'm like, why? It's about the art, right? <laughs> Like, yo, shut the fuck up. Yes. Bro, someone really pissed me off this week about this, dude. <laughs> it's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Honestly, it's just about, like, the art, like, my style and, like, whatever. It's like, why are you charge 2000 a day, then, if it's just about the fucking art? Like, do you know what I mean, bro? Have you had these people? Dude. Like, it just makes no sense. It's like, listen, it's your job. It's okay that you, like, charge money and it's, like, money's involved yeah. and, like, whatever. Is there is there a point where like it becomes ridiculous and a negative thing? Yeah, a hundred percent. But these people out there, that's like, oh, I'm just in it for the art. It's like, no, you're Do not, bro, because yeah. you fucking you charge. <laughs> you charge money, you fucking idiot. Yeah. You you've heard these people? Yeah. yeah. I'm not taking that walk and I'm not doing this. Like it's really just about my art and this and that. Cool. I better never see you charge anyone for anything. 
Yep. Well, we know John's trigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm Dude, glad I someone got me so mad this week. I'm like, what do you mean it's just about the art? They're like, I only care about like, the art I'm, front right now. I'm producing. <laughs> I don't, then it's like, cool, it's a hobby for you. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> but like I was saying, I feel like the, the real shit actually starts when you start tattooing. Like your apprenticeship's real. Like for sure. Yeah. yeah. But like the actual pressure comes like when you're like charging people, you're tattooing, like I feel like that's where the real pressure is. Because, like, for me, like, I, like two years in, like, I only feel like it's getting harder. And that's not a bad thing. Like, I think it's good. But How'd you get your apprenticeship, John? So. Who's dick did you suck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so it was, it was, I got exactly what I deserved. Um, and I was just, like, talking about this the other week. My girlfriend at the time. This is like when I was still like using drugs and pretty rough off. She was kind of like, yo, you are not doing anything with your life. And unfortunate for her, she like had feelings for me. So she didn't want to just like leave me, (laughs) you know? (laughs) So she was like, you should like get an apprenticeship. She kind of did all the work for me. She like talked to her tattoo artist. I don't want to get rid of you. Show him, show him. (laughs) (laughs) Show him how good you are at it. Uh, And like, Trent was kind enough to just kind of give me a chance. Yeah. Like, I didn't he have just to. Asked. She asked for me. Oh, shit. And she was like, go talk to him. And he respected that. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, bro. He was like, okay. Holy shit. He was like, we'll, we'll, like, figure it out together. Well, because, I mean, people get pissed off when, you know, people try to book appointments and the girlfriend's, like, trying to book people. So. Dude, I got, like, the, <laughs> the one tattoo artist with a heart in, like, all of the area. Um, now, prior to that, There was, like, this little shop, and I I was, like, 16, and I was asking, like, how do you get an apprenticeship, and people were, like, just go there every day, and they're going to say no, and I did that, and then finally, the guy was, like, dude, you're 16. It's not about, like, saying no. I I can't say yes to you. You have to, like, wait until you're 18 or whatever. That's not true. That's what they were, like, telling me at the time, Uh, so I got discouraged and, you know, whatever, so I did that. I apprenticed under him for like a year and then because of my drug use, I got fired and then I came to Florida to get clean and then, but I still wanted to tattoo. No one wants to hire an apprentice that did a couple free tattoos. So that's when I had to do like the door to door, like show up and like beg. Um, So I did that with this one shop and he would be, he was like, yo, come to the shop. Now, for me to come to the shop, it was three bus rides, and it took about two hours. It wasn't that far, but that's just yeah. how the public transit sure. worked. So I show up my first day, like, thinking I'm going to get, like, the job. I'm like, yeah, I'm here for the apprentice. He's like, oh, cool, I'm glad you made it. Hang out for a little bit on the couch. And then I was like, oh, you know, about to have that talk. He's going to explain to me the apprenticeship. And he comes up, and he's like, oh, I forgot you were here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why don't you go home? We'll maybe come back tomorrow. And I was like, fuck. So I got back on the bus. I'm all like sad or whatever. I'm like getting back to my boys. They're like, how'd it go? Did you get it? I'm like, no, we forgot I was there. (laughs) So, and then this like happened for like a month, dude. And I really like couldn't afford to like take the bus like that every day. Not only like money wise, but like time wise. Um, And finally, like I just, I told him that. You know, and he was like, okay, Um, he's like, I hear what you're saying. Why don't you come by and we'll put you to work? So I was like, cool, I I got it, you know. And then so I go by and he's like, sweep the sidewalk out front. (laughs) And I was like, can't even clean inside yet. Yeah, he didn't want me inside. (laughs) So I was like, cool. And so I was like sweeping the front, you know, which – and then, like, I didn't know, like, how much of the sidewalk he wanted me to sweep or whatever. So I was out there for hours, and then he'd have me, like, wash the windows, and I was bad at it, so he'd get mad. And I was, like, doing this a couple of days, uh, or maybe a couple of weeks at that point, and then, like, customers came in, and they asked me a question, and I responded to the customers, and he came up and saw me talking to the customers, and he screamed at me, bro. He was like, don't you ever fucking talk to my customers he's like in you front don't, of the customers yeah oh, that's the worst he's like you don't fucking know shit you know he's like you don't even work here you're lucky i let you sweep the sidewalk 
And I, like my whole perspective changed. Yeah. Like, dude, oh, they asked for the bathroom. Once. <laughs> Yo, and then they're like, oh, we're so sorry. We were just talking to your apprentice. And he's like, that's not my fucking apprentice. Damn. So I was like, I was like, what am I doing here? So at the end of the day, I was like scared. And I was like, should I come back tomorrow? And he's like, are we open tomorrow? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, then you should probably come back. <laughs> no, and it wasn't until like three or four months in, he like sat me down. We had a talking about what an apprentice was. And he gave me what he called the handshake. And he's like, you're in. But it was like three or four months of that before he even said like yes to the apprenticeship. And it was like an old biker apprenticeship. Yeah. Whatever. But that was like. Is that shop still around? No. No, he passed away. That guy. Um, it was uh, it was in Hollywood. It was the old silver and silver on the mount shop. I don't know if you know that. No, no. Um, I think like whatever some some other shops there, but it was like old biker like you know flash on the walls, um, the black and white tile like yeah. everywhere you yeah. know. Checkered. <laughs> yeah, checkered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. How'd you get your apprenticeship, Cam? It's all an ad on Instagram. Stop. Tell them, <laughs> tell them what happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So mine was kind of weird. I was actually kind of more like looking to get like my first piece. I was still in college. I had a full-time job still. What would you study? Uh, accounting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good with money. Stop okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a lot better than most people my age with, okay, with their yeah, money. I'll give you that. Yeah. Right. Um, well, like Kyla. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she makes me look really good. <laughs> What's crazy? She makes triple what I make, and I've got way more than her saved. So. Anyway, so I was gonna get like my first large piece. So I was like looking at artists in the area. I was following like a couple dudes in here. Uh, Lafleur, one of the artists that used to work up front here, he first posted that the shop was looking for an apprentice. I like swiped up on his story, told him I was interested. Something like a little paragraph. Told him like I'm super motivated, super gay. What the paragraph fucking, say? I don't know, something like, yo, like, I'm really interested in this. Like, I'm very motivated. I can dedicate, like, full time to this. Like, it was super gay. It was, like, yeah. kissing ass for sure. Right, right. Um, no response. <laughs> so I called the shop. You DM'd. I, d I DM'd him, yeah. <laughs> so I, I called the shop. Um, <laughs> my, prior to this, I would like re I was rejected by two other shops, too, like, before this. So I was, like, super, like, skittish about it almost. Um and like super off put because like the first two places I went to gave me like super bullshit examples. Like one or one of them wanted like a female apprentice. I was like, all right, cool. You just want somebody to fuck. Um, wow. All right. Yeah, calling them out for sure. Right. <laughs> and the other one was like some bullshit. So I was like skittish. So I like called the shop. I got in contact with Seth. I came in for an interview. Interviewed with him. I brought my portfolio. Um, what were the doodles? It wasn't too bad. It was, yeah, it was pretty bad. It was just, like, 10 of my favorite drawings, just some pencil sketches. That's all I ever drew was, like, pencil and micron. What, what were they? Just, like, him and his ex-girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ba basic shit, like, skulls, snakes, flowers. That was literally all all it was. It's, like, semi, like... Do you remember what they looked like? Though? No. <laughs> yeah. probably didn't even look at it <laughs> he probably saw that it was like in a binder he was like okay he tried <laughs> looking at it was upside down he's like he's not looking at shit <laughs> you looked at the binder I don't remember I don't really look at the binders yeah. I just like want to it's like you brought a binder I, wanna, like, <laughs> I usually have like a conversation and try to like see what their like motive is yeah. you know i just gave him a pity story yeah he fucking lied to me he's like my mom has cancer i didn't lie to you really <laughs> <laughs> it's <Whatever>. true <laughs> <laughs> whatever he gave me some bullshit story that i didn't care about <laughs> yeah i was like super depressed in college I was miserable i wanted, like, I I really wanted to need a job because my mom has cancer i'm like wah <laughs> get out of here bro i'm sorry why do you want to be a tattooer does it say make a wish anywhere <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it was like Saturday. He was like, "Okay, be here Tuesday." I was like enrolled in full time classes, had a full time job. Like went home, dropped out, quit my job, did all that shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, Lafleur thought I was gay. Yeah, Same. yeah. Oddly enough, <laughs> he thought I was gay. Huh? He thought I was gay for the longest time. Yeah, you too. It's okay. I just yeah. At that point, I just after like knowing Lafleur for like two. Out or what? 
<laughs> after I knew the floor for two weeks, Adrian that. and I do after a lot I of chicken the, and brave. Yeah. <laughs> like, after I knew the floor for two weeks, I was like, okay, I just know what type of person he is. Like, he just thinks everyone's gay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was like, he was laughing. He was like, yeah, some fucking loser hit me up on Instagram about some dumb apprenticeship. I'm like, what an idiot. And then, like, later that day, like, it Cam comes into interview, and I'm like, that kid wants an apprenticeship. He's like, yeah, that was a kid. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, why didn't you say something? I would have told him to go away. Now we're here. And he's not. <laughs> You're not wrong. Right on. I love LaFleur. LaFleur taught me a lot. He was. He ended up being pretty good to me. So that's why I was like, here we go. Well, yeah, I think one thing that you did pretty well is you utilized all the opportunities here. Like you would go around and like pick the brains of like all the artists and like try to help. And, you know, some are responsive and some are not. Some are like, yeah, come on, I'll show you. And some are kind of like, yeah, leave me alone yeah, and like, for now. Don't touch my fucking setup. Yeah, like three months in, you kind of figure out who you want to learn from and stuff. And you kind of like figure, like I knew LaFleur was like the, like the tech equipment junkie. Like yeah. I could ask him anything about any needle, any gauge, any, you know, and he would know it. Yeah. Like anything about machines, he would know it. So you like, just gotta earn the respect. Yeah, hundred percent. And I broke him down for year, years, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. You yeah. know, they give you a little knowledge, and then they make fun of you. Yeah. <laughs> and you just gotta take both of them. You know. Yeah. No, but it was cool. Give and receive. Yeah, because like most, we're like pretty good about it. Like, because it is a free apprenticeship here. Like a lot of the artists will throw you a couple yeah. bucks for breaking them down after a long day or something. Yeah. You know. So, like, the floor was, like, the only dude in here that never did that. <laughs> and then Paying like, you with knowledge, dog. Yeah, and then, and then just, like, one day randomly, like, gave me a machine. But, like, I never complained about him. Like, I broke him down every day. He never asked. He just, like, got up, left. Like, I, I just knew it was part of the job. I did that, and then one day, he just, like, brand new machine, boom. Comes back to work. He's like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I never complained to his face. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. That's, like, w like when that happened, I kind of learned, like, another, like, thing about, like, the tattoo industry. It was kind of, like, a respect thing. Yeah. Same thing kind of just happened with Logan. He was breaking down Dan for months, and then Dan just, like, surprised him with a machine. You know, it's, like, you will get taken care of if, you work, if you work hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan, Dan gave him an FK. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the good shit? <laughs> I can't even use this machine yet. <laughs> Thank you guys for... <laughs> Kylo. Fucking Kylo. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable Podcast. Thank you again for Boris for joining us, man. Oh, thank yeah, you. Thank you, yeah. sir. Glad sure we you could get you back. This was a cool episode. Touched on a lot of topics. Yeah. He like looked at me, he's like, This was a cool episode? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all next week. I need to tell you about Allegory's new Ultra Black. This stuff is dark, maybe even darker than my childhood. It is amazing for lining, shading, and even blackouts. And I know a thing or two about black and out. You got to check this stuff out on allegoryinc.com. Use discount code unemployable for 20% off. Again, go to allegoryinc.com, check out their new Ultra Black, and use discount code unemployable for 20% off.